two guys that's the yeah. two guys that's a good point three yeah. guys now and bear and one of them is also a <laughs> you dog know, it out, back, boop, 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 when you boop. when you put numerical boop. information in your title it turns into a it, it has issues it, turns it does out. have issues yeah. but luckily this is the type of show where it really doesn't matter and nope. nobody yeah. really cares mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. but we're back we're back oh, baby oh, oh, baby oh a triple it's, yeah, they don't have those in football. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. We're actually back. Is this year five? Uh, probably like year ooh, eight. Oh, like, dude, dude, knows, right? yeah, it's point. just yeah, like really Rob remember, was yeah. just saying about COVID. Like, if it's beyond yeah. three years, yeah, it's in Rob the past. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're yeah. just yeah. we're just doing this now. This is yeah. just a thing that happens. It is a thing that happens, which is great. Perfectly clouded. Per- <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I can't believe it's finally here. It's, uh, I've, I, I was excited. I think like I'm, I'm reminded of the tapes in my head. I was excited for last season because it was something new, mm-hmm. and now I'm excited for this season because it's. But it feels like it's something new again, man. There's so many stories, so many new quarterbacks, yeah. so many uh, new d- d- teams, new movings around new of teams. players. That's a new feature yeah. of the uh, season. Wow, was that a rule yeah, that I teams. missed? I didn't see the new rule changes. <laughs> yeah, new new yeah. teams, new and teams. A couple the, the London Larrys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're <pretty> good. <laughs> And they're naked? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> their, their GM is called the governor. It's crazy. <laughs> Look, we're just getting okay. back into the swing of things, okay? We'll work yeah, on the rusty. bit stuff as we go. Wait, actually, as a bit, though, I actually think it would be a great rule change if they made it so that all of the administrative staff of NFL teams had to, like, put on performances like they were WWE ref- wrestlers, like they all had specific nick- nicknames and outfits yeah. and personas that they gave during press conferences. Mm-hmm. They were out there during the that. halftime show. Oh, you like said personas. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sorry, I mean, they I can, maybe else. there is a couple right. of them that are, that are like fully, you know, in wolf suits. Let them mm-hmm. live their truth. Even yeah, exactly. They've got $10 billion. Um, <laughs> so first, let's the, there's something that happened over the preseason. It was kind of crazy. Normally, you don't have this happen, but the 49ers traded Trey Lance to the Dallas Cowboys oh, right. for yeah. a like fourth round pick. Just man, that we always go. We always say that has to go down yeah. in history as the worst pick ever. <laughs> yeah. But then there's always a new one. There's a yeah. new worst pick ever. That and the Trey Lance pick was is now holds that. Yeah, I mean, was, we can kind of quantify this one now. He went from a number three down to a mid fourth round pick. Like that's it's that's pretty bad. The worst part the is that it, there. it wasn't even a, just the number three because they traded picks to get there. Was it was like yeah. two first round picks and like two seconds or something, right? Yeah, or like, there's, a, there's a there was a great Patriots? list of all the players drafted after Trey Lance <laughs> in between their pick and their old pick, and it is yeah. an insane list of players. Yeah. Do you have it? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll look for it here. On, I, uh, it was the actual uh, Trey Lance trade was a 2021 first round, so number 12, and then 2022 first round, number 29, shoo! 2022 third round, 2023 first round. So yeah, it was what? four picks, all three of which were first round picks. Oh my Jeez. god, dude! I'm just looking at the draft list now. It says Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, Devonte Smith, Justin Fields, yeah. fucking yeah, Michael <laughs> Parsons Jones was even. on there. Yeah, yeah, yes. Michael Parsons. Yeah, Justin oh Fields. my god, dude! Yeah, that's a list. Holy shit, that Yikes. is a list. All right, so that's just yeah, that that's I mean, really really bad. On the one hand, though, there is the. I mean, at least they managed to to get Brock Purdy, right? I mean, that's Who why they do this trade, good. right? Like, right, they probably yeah. don't do it if they don't have Brock Purdy. But now it's like, you have Brock Purdy, he's clearly a starter. You have Sam Darnold, right? Yeah. Is Darnold there? Yeah, so he's number two now. 
Wow. Which, I mean, he clearly outplayed Trey Lance. I think Trey Lance, the, the injury last year, probably took a took a bit away from him because his whole thing was his Possible. speed, right? And so he injures his leg, and now it's like maybe he loses a step, and then it's just like, well, he can't throw as well, so it's like, uh, <laughs> he's not well, that he great. Can't. He, he, <laughs> he if, if you look into his, like, snap count of mm. all the, he's played, like, a, just a very, like, maybe a year's worth of snaps at QB since high school. Yeah. Which is just, you know, it's it's not his fault yeah. that he wasn't given the opportunity to play, but, like, he just hasn't, you know, he hasn't been on the field, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, yep. it's and, a shame, but, I mean, listen, now he's in Dallas, so they'll probably throw him in there at some point. Yeah. yeah. You know how often Dak Prescott gets injured, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and well, I mean, don't they have uh, they have someone else backing him up too, don't they? Or is he I, number two? No, they traded. What's his face? Yeah, uh, they, the, Cooper Rush. Yeah, Cooper yeah. Rush is somewhere else. Where is Cooper Rush? Cooper Rush. Where, where in the world Cooper is Rush Cooper Rush? Rush. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh wait, he is still with the Cowboys. Never oh, mind. He's still, okay. uh, I think oh, we're okay, thinking yeah. of Ben Danucci. <laughs> ben Danucci is with uh, someone else now. <laughs> Classic Currently, the uh, the nooch is with dude. He was in the NFL, I forgot, or not the NFL, <laughs> fucking the XFL. Whoa, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was in the NFL, dude. <laughs> Wild, <laughs> holy shit. Uh, oh, the Broncos, the, he's with the Broncos. The Broncos? Uh, yeah. I was gonna say that as a joke about uh. What's his face? Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, which, another cut? massive news story, by the way. Melvin Gordon released by the Baltimore Ravens. Wow. Wow. So he's, so he's yeah. on the Broncos now, right? He's on nowhere. Yeah, man. he's on nowhere now. He defaults back Since to the Broncos. Yeah, he's he on a back. different team. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there, some, there will be somebody oh. that needs him at some point, right? Yeah, it'll be better. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's usually how running backs go. There was some breaking. Years. Yeah. News. Some oh, breaking oh. news happened right before we started the podcast recording, dating the recording right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Travis Kelsey hyper extending his knee in practice Ooh. today. Oh, oh, dude. Uncertain for Thursday's opener against the Lions. Apparently, early information doesn't look serious, but probably won't play on Thursday. Damn. Thanks yeah. for informing our choices just prior to the yeah. fantasy draft. <laughs> that is yeah. important. That oh, and actually, injury. injury. Maybe this is a good spot to bring up the fantasy draft. Oh, yeah. yeah right after Travis, Travis Kelsey's injury announcement. Because, like, everyone wanted to draft Travis Kelsey. Yeah. I mean, listen, I was ready to draft True. Travis Kelsey, dude. I'm... I know. I was, too. It was very um, cold of me. So we are doing a, like, Patreon plus us uh, fantasy league this year. So we got all of us. Yeah. And then it's going to be assistant coaches from the Patreon Discord. I have... Uh, I got a list of people that wanted to play in it, and then I used Whoppy's random, uh, or no, <laughs> Randy. Sorry, Whoppy's my other robot from my other podcast. I have uh, numerous uh, robots. I was going to say, that's also what the fuck is Whoppy? Whoppy's yeah, I, my I weather robot. That, 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 got, that got me upset when that, you said well, that. It yeah. is a slur for Italians, I wanted to what? point out. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo would be very upset. Um <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, I used Randy's RNG number generator to choose. So if you got chosen to play in the league, you can thank Randy. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Big thanks to all the patrons as well uh, for especially maintaining your support over the offseason. We have another yeah. new Patreon reward for those at the hurdled a man level at $10 we'll suck a your dick. Month. Sorry, yeah, no, we're no, gonna suck that. it. We'll I don't know come how you to your house. <laughs> you get, you give us, you mail us your address, and we'll be there. Mm -hmm. Why do they have to mail us there? You right? you <laughs> yep. Don't do that. It's gotta be a typed letter. Don't, we gotta uh, stay off the grid, man. Don't send us your address. <laughs> yeah, do not do that. So um, send your address in the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll America. fucking blow you, bro. Uh, All right, no, there is an actual so new yeah. reward, though. At <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys pay attention? Who said that? <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Um, so, yeah, plus... Uh, <laughs> You're adults. <laughs> yeah, because our old fantasy league dissolved because Sindicta hates football this year. <laughs> and a big football hater. Yeah, so... <laughs> and then a bunch of the people in the league were also Sindicta people he knew and then i don't know if they were they, they so were just... also Sinvicta. he was operating five different teams. <laughs> he was operating <laughs> yeah, five was different things fun. and he still lost <laughs> he still yeah. lost it was amazing uh so that'll be fun uh now rob I... 
But we still didn't yes. announce the it's actual not, thing. Yeah, I thought yeah, you we, were going <laughs> to announce the thing. Yeah, you <laughs> really did. As far as it, dude, I'm not <laughs> even, it really seemed like you were going right, into just, that. Just actually. keep going. I don't even know. I don't know where At we the are. the hurdle the man level for $10 a month, you now have a chance to be included in the Pick Encyclopedia stat sheet maintained by Pixel Haven, who has done so much incredible work for us for this show to maintain mm -hmm. all those bonus stats. The main Pick Encyclopedia has also been updated for a lot or with a lot more new information. So if you're curious about that, head over to the Patreon page. It is on the top pin post for all patrons to be able to access whenever you like and have a chance at getting in that stat sheet by joining the $10 a month or higher tier. And it is sick. It is really cool. It's very cool. Pixel yeah. Haven might indirectly be the person in my life who does the most things for me just by doing <laughs> yes. this. Like, it's yes. so it's much insane. work <laughs> that it, like overloads anyone else in my life's like, just, like it's, it's ridiculous it's insane yeah, it really is and insane. he's now gone out of his way to offer a brand new reward for mm -hmm. patrons so that's yeah. awesome give us money uh, uh go <laughs> sign up today <laughs> yeah please don't treat us like nfl running back <laughs> Hey, <laughs> or do, I us when we're mine a million. Yeah, dollars, I mean, I can go honest. for. I'll take. I'll I take the minimum salary. It. Yeah, right. I, yeah. I'd barely run if my life depended on it. I wouldn't get very far. But <laughs> yeah, oh, I just, just start looking the other way if I commit major crimes. Like that's that's cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. I can yeah. start doing that. Well, I'm I mean, the commissioner, I and I say we investigated <laughs> ourselves and found no wrongdoing. So true. I that's true. And I got a preseason concussion. Right that there, you crazy. go. Yeah, you got to yeah. be more careful in the offseason, Crandor. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the granite okay. countertops, and you just got to understand when you're under them. We really should just... do what, one one day. I don't know when or how, but we should do 40 times for all of us. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> that would idea. actually be funny. We just would track our own 40 time while we're running. <laughs> And we yeah, have to try right, as yeah. hard as we can. Yeah, yeah of course. That, that yeah. might kill me. Just yeah, I would one die. I don't 40 think I run get... might actually end my life. 40 yards is a long distance, It's a man. lot longer I... than you think, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can go 40. I'm genuinely curious sprint. if I could. I mean, I go to the gym and stuff. I I'm pretty sure I could do it. I just know that I would not. I, my time would be uh, pathetic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I also my time would be pathetic, and my time on this earth would be shortened as a result <laughs> yeah. of doing so. I think. Well, I like, might like do the a best case report. scenario for me is a broken leg. Like that's right. that's the <laughs> top end. <laughs> it's getting off easy. Yeah, uh, I might actually try it and report back if I remember, which I won't. If if you do it, I'll do it. How are you going to measure uh, forty yards? Uh, Sorry, uh, I'm just thinking of the. I'll just go out to a, the, some field. They got football and stuff going on places, <laughs> like a Find park a or field. something. Yeah, just Make hop the fence, guess. you know. <laughs> yeah. While the game is on. See, you see high. them playing a game. Be like, Excuse Yo, me, uh, guys. Sorry. Hey, guys. Excuse you me. might. I got to do a quick 40. I'm on a podcast. It's <laughs> just, fine. I'm just going to pop a quick 40 real quick. Just hold on. Just, just like ask some, like, someone there to time it. Yo, mind if I, dude, yeah, honestly, hand the, hand somebody the probably would. The ref. Yeah, right. yeah. Somebody legit probably would time your 40. Be like, yo, yeah, mind if I, side judge. Like, yeah. It's Little League. You're good, yeah. right? Just, uh, time me. <laughs> like, dude, you're, you're at a 4 5. Like, damn. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That was 45. I misread it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I think uh, the crazy part to me is we had uh, Hard Knocks New York Jets, and I don't yeah. think Rob watched any of it. That is correct. Didn't watch a single minute. <laughs> you missed not that much, honestly. It was one of those like typical. It almost reminded me of the Cowboys one where they were trying yeah. so hard to just be like so kind of inspiring. Like, yeah, like this is a great. But last one, right. I will say last one of the season when they mic'd up Aaron Rodgers, we got some good stuff from that. Maybe one of the best hard knocks moments. <laughs> was he on it like at all? Because I yeah. was expecting him to not be. No, he was on it. it. And for most of it, he was just being like the, hey, you know, it's going to be fun or like, yo, whatever. He was like, chill. But right. he did have some moments where he, after being like, yo, Zen, man, and like, what's up, guys? Where like they were doing <laughs> practice and he was like, fucking throw the fucking ball, you fucking idiot. Throw it this fucking. <laughs> like he said, like 10 F bombs in 10 seconds. And I was like, all right, there's, that's the Aaron Rodgers I see when he's like on the field, like yelling at everyone. He's just like, fucking run the fucking route. You know how to fucking play football. And then uh, the, the, all the Jets coaching staff like, wow, this guy's good. He's yelling at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. the best part is final preseason game. He played one drive. Mm -hmm. And that one drive gave us the best quote we might have from this entire season. So if you know on the Boy. Giants, Jihad Ward, 
Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Is a linebacker. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Rodgers throws the ball, and five seconds after he throws it, Jihad Ward just gives him a shove. And Aaron Rodgers is like, yo, what the fuck, bro? And he's just yeah. like, oh, and he's like, have some respect. And then Jihad Ward's just like, oh, whatever. And he's like, bro, Aaron Rodgers says to him, I don't even know who you are, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says back to him like the, I, I don't either yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was just like what no you yeah essentially yeah, the yeah. no you <laughs> so it was yeah. just just a classic a classic moment we wouldn't have gotten yeah. without hard knocks which by the way uh that player i learned from this event has been playing in the league for 10 years <laughs> yeah i thought i heard not his name at some point but i didn't i yeah, could not no, piece it together not a, I, I assumed it was a rookie when I first read that story, but yeah. then it, yeah, no, it was, it was, it's literally a guy who's been in the league for 10 years. Yeah, you haven't heard of Aaron Rodgers, I'm sure. Yeah, it, yeah like, even my grandparents know who Aaron Rodgers is. Right, yeah. Like, all right. He's played with yeah. the Raiders, the Cowboys, the Colts, the Ravens, the Jaguars, and now the Giants. So he's, oh, he's one of those players. He's a journeyman. Yeah. No, Patrick. I, like, I was saying this before the podcast, but... This year, I feel really weird. It's a really weird year. I didn't watch any preseason at all. I and I, normally, I watch almost all of them. Yeah. Here's my Jets prediction. Okay. Wee -woo -wee -woo. Jets prediction moment. <laughs> yep. um, I don't know why there's a siren playing. I yep. think <laughs> that <laughs> they're going to arrest you. It's a bad, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A bad prediction. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to jail for this. Yep. Uh, I just I, I agree with you that it feels weird, like something doesn't add up with this team. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like they've done all of the right things. They've signed all the right players. They've got like this what should be a good team. And that's exactly why it's not going to work. Like, I think too many things went right. And that the like the universe is going to just do it. its inevitable pushback and mm -hmm. it's going to go all sorts of wrong. Well, and they're not going to win and the things are going to get weird. They're going to go like, oh, whose fault is it? Is it Aaron Rodgers? Is he is he washed? Is it the coach? It's probably the coach. Some some trauma, some stress there. Maybe someone gets injured because I don't know. It's pissed. You know, it's, it's going to be one yeah. of those seasons, I think. I fully so, expect a New York Packer team where they're pretty much just going to go through what I've gone through for the last like 12 years. There's going to be a point where you're struggling, you start going on a roll, you're like, guys, we're putting it together, you get to the playoffs, you get a wild card win, and then just shit hits the fan. That's what I so expect. So, my Jets demon intrusive thoughts, uh, he is always telling me that... <laughs> That's <what's> one demon. <laughs> yeah, one guy. Demon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got hey, a time for another season, brother. Okay, yeah. Uh. <laughs> he's dressed up like Fireman Ed, except he's got uh, horns. Yeah. Um, but um, anyway, so the, usually how the how this happens with the Jets is it's an unceremonious thing that ends the season. Like, you know, a late season injury or yeah. early season injury or whatever that's just like, yeah, that's it. Season's over. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. Um... However, I don't know. I, I, uh, as a counterpoint to they did everything right and therefore things must go wrong. Uh huh. <laughs> the, the Jets did have that one draft two drafts ago that was really good. And everyone said it was good at the time of the draft. And then when it when they played on the field, they were all really good. And then so, everything went wrong. <laughs> Brees well, all got injured. Zach Wilson became a potato. Well, he already kind of was true, a potato. But yeah, but like we were kind of expecting Zach. Like the Zach Wilson thing was always kind of like, well, we'll see. I mean, you remember even last. Well, maybe you don't. But, but last last podcast at the beginning of the year, I was saying like, well, we'll see about Zach Wilson or. Maybe we'll we'll as a result of having our nice draft picks get a veteran QB, maybe even Aaron Rodgers, and yep. uh, here we are. So I'm just saying, I don't know. It might go well. It might I go well. I hope it does. I'm not rooting against the Jets. Yeah. I just have that pit in my stomach that <laughs> something yeah. is going to go horribly wrong. I just fully. I can almost see it already. I fully expect some like Green Bay Packard from the last years, like just 
culture to leak into there, which is Aaron Rodgers. But now he has full control of the offense, so he's going to do whatever. But that's also yeah. partially a bad thing. So he's going to do some dumb shit, but it's still better than whatever the Jets are doing. So it's whatever. Yeah, uh, and also he has Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall and Dalvin Cook. Yeah, Dalvin now Cook too, now. So I think the biggest issue for the Jets is probably still offensive line because Aaron Rodgers probably. loves to hold on to the ball. And he can't run yeah. as well as he used to. So he's going to take some sacks. There's going to be some sacks where you're just like, what are you doing? And then he's going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's be like yelling at everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, especially in some of those teams in the AFC that are really good at pass rush. Uh, I'm very so, excited that the first four games that they play are like so significant. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. two divisional games, obviously, in the first three with the Bills and Patriots. And then you got the Cowboys on the road and the Chiefs at home. Like, they are going to get tested early and yeah. often. And they yeah. are maybe going to be say, going for. I think yeah. at Cowboys, that's an Aaron Rodgers special. He loves beating the Cowboys in Dallas or just that's the Cowboys true. in general. Plus, Mike McCarthy. He knows he knows Mike McCarthy. So I think, I think they take that one. I don't know about the Bills, but. Uh, yeah. Probably one in three. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Well, the Bills are a little shaky this year too, aren't they? Like, I'm not it, a Bills believer this year, man. I, I, I feel know, like man. they're, I feel like they're on a downward trend somehow. I think last, I I was saying at the at the at the end of last year, even though they had a good record, they did not feel like the previous year's Bills. And maybe it's a bounce back year, but I'm gonna be honest, it didn't seem like they did a lot to bounce back. They do love to lose. That's like a yeah. Bills yeah. staple. Yeah, <laughs> four four Super Bowls in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no that one's is... better than them. Yep, they are. They are kind of like the Vikings of the AFC in that aspect. Yeah, they're just uh, they've been good, and then they just they can't get it done, even when they have like some really good teams. There's only one team that's the Vikings of the Vikings, and that's the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that should be a quote. We should, we should <laughs> the Vikings that kind of embroidered on a pillow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's let us go through each division here. So we're on the AFC East. All right. Mm. What about the Patriots? Honestly, I think the Patriots could be a wild card team. I can't. They, they're not going to win the division, but I could see them being a wild card team. I, I don't believe in the Patriots. No, yeah, you've made that abundantly. <laughs> I will continue <laughs> to make it clear until people start to fucking listen to me. I mean, I like I don't I don't believe in them in the sense that I think they're going to do anything of note this year. However, I believe in them in so much as to say that they might make the playoffs somehow. Because yeah, I, of I think that Bill just refuses to allow them to be a certain degree of bad. You yeah, know? like I they, think. Sorry, go ahead and finish. Finish. Your he's, he's just got so much like influence in so many different facets of that team yeah. that he like he's got the tendrils pulling at every just everything that will be just enough to make it work, which is what he's done forever yeah. by yeah. the way it's just that it sort of it gets brushed under the big giant tom brady rug in the living room <laughs> but mm -hmm. like there's still the same sort of framework going on that can allow for them to make the wild card and go out first round of the playoffs that seems totally realistic still i can yeah. see that happening yeah unfortunately <laughs> here's my issue mm. i think the patriots are at best mid okay yes. i don't think i think they're worse i agree than yeah. Um, and the AFC is stacked. It's stacked. There's three wild card spots, and you have uh, you have the Steelers, you have the Ravens, you have the Jets, you have the Chargers, you have the Dolphins, you even have the Browns, who are kind of a wild card shot too. Uh, there's just too many. Uh, I, I would say even the Titans, because we all think the Jags are going to win yeah. that division, right? So like, uh, there's too many teams that are either equal or better than the patriots who are going to take those wild card spots i think You're, i agree with that analytically but you and i both know that there's it, it it's not going to go the way that we expect it like yeah. there's one, yeah. or, one or two if not like three of those teams is going to have some sort of catastrophic meltdown halfway mm -hmm. through the season yep. and <laughs> that'll be the chargers be running but probably yeah, yeah. yeah no but like they, they, it's it still like even if they're mid or even like a little below mid that they they have the almost inverse of that where they continue to perform well over the last few years despite the yeah. fact that everybody expected them to plummet yeah 
I think yeah, no. I still the... maintain that Mac Jones at one point got benched for Bailey Zappi, who got benched for Mac Jones, and I just <laughs> that <laughs> will never leave my mind. And I think this team is doomed until they have a different quarterback. Which, by the way, the Patriots now have Bailey Zappi on the practice squad after cutting him. He cleared the waivers then. Yeah. yeah uh, wow. But I think Jeez. the Patriot floor is like so high. Like they usually have the highest floor in the NFL because of Bill Belichick. It's just their ceiling yep. is so low. Yeah, so they're yeah, like they, they pretty team. much exist in like a six inch tall room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and actually to the points that you guys were saying, I would say that like the thing about the Patriots is that they're stable. Yeah. So yeah. while a lot of those teams that you mentioned, I don't know, that I feel like a lot of those teams are like hanging on a knife's edge. They could yeah. be they're really going good. through a lot of fucking personnel shifts all the damn time. Yeah. yeah. That, that very rarely happens over there. Yeah. yeah. So it's like Patriots no matter what, is... the Patriots are going to be around 500, give or take. And if yeah. they if it's there, they're gonna, they're going to take it. Yeah, yeah, dude, 9 and 8, 10 and 7 seems totally reasonable to expect and seems like it could very well get them to squeak into the playoffs. I could see yeah. it happening, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, 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 by on the same on the same token though, I could totally see them getting 6 wins or 7. You don't think 9 yeah, and 8, 10 and 7 me, is going to get it? Let me say, let me let me read their I'm going to see their schedule before I say what I was going to say. Uh huh. Uh huh. Dude, uh -huh, by the way, uh -huh. the there Patriots... is no fucking world this team is ten and seven. Can I read you the schedule real quick? <laughs> I'm looking e at it. Yeah. Eagles, Dolphins, Jets, Cowboys, Saints, Raiders, Bills, Dolphins. Okay, Commanders, Colts, Giants, Chargers, Steelers, Chiefs, Broncos, Bills, Jets. Nah, ain't ten wins ever happening with this team without the Broncos with the wrong inflection. But yeah, no, there's a lot of games in there for sure. Yeah. Hey, we're I giving the Broncos a redo because they had. Uh, different coach. Yeah. they get a redo yeah. I, th I think eight nine wins out of that i could see it i could see that yeah i could totally see probably that. Not, not eight or nine absolutely i mean and, hey and listen they got they have juju smith schuster all right mm -hmm. which if this was 2017 that probably would be very good be a uh, lot more helpful then yeah ezekiel <laughs> elliott which again, if this oh, was right. 2017, oh, yeah. right right <laughs> would be very good then they I, got I, the I they about that you know yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. It Ooh, could work out last year and didn't do a lot, but still. are they tough? Are they bad at uh, punching it in in the red zone? Dude, they have really Ramondre good at that. Stevenson. That dude's going to be the sleeper, sleeper pick picking his way all the, the way into the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're in our fantasy league, keep in mind, he is the sleeper pick. Well, he yeah. was. There's a new sleeper no, pick. No, no. Uh, he's thing. always Wait, oh, yeah, like, we, <laughs> He's we, always we sleeping. Did, we need this yeah. year's sleeper pick. Yeah. It was Ramondre Stevenson, then it was Dobbs, then... You'll see this year. I don't even know Who's who it Mr. is. Mr. Irrelevant this year. Well, Maybe uh, it's him. It's possible. Maybe it's two, two years He's in a row. He's coming on a team. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Actually, I'm going to find one. You know, You'll see. Weirdly, Mr. Irrelevant has a much higher chance of being in the NFL than if you're, like, drafted in, like, the sixth round. Yeah. Mm. Or if you're Trey Lance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... AFC East probably be a, a wacky division. I mean, Dolphins. I even mentioned the Dolphins. Dolphins are another team. They're like the opposite of the Patriots. They're either like super high ceiling or like the lowest floor. Like I can see them oh, getting five wins or like weight. 13 yeah. wins. Just remember like how good they looked when Tua wasn't yeah. like a zombie. Like, yeah. my God. Although, isn't Tyreek out? Because uh, of no? some reasons. I thought, I thought I read that he was... Out. Let's find out. No. Think so. He, he probably had playing. some injury, but he's gonna play. Oh yeah, it says latest on Tyreek Hill. He'll play. It's, it'll happen. Um, uh, yeah, okay. like the Dolphins looked so good, and then you know the Tua stuff happened, and then they yeah. just kind of shit themselves. But well, I think it's entirely dependent on Tua. Yeah. and how that offense does. Well, it's but interesting yeah, because right. they had the, basically the same issue that the Niners had, but the Niners were such a better, well-rounded yeah. team <laughs> that it at least took them to the championship. Yeah. Oh, they, got, they, I, they have Mike White. You, uh -huh. uh, back in June, Hill was being investigated by Miami-Dade police after reports indicated he allegedly hit a charter company employee in the back of the head during an uh, altercation. Right. Okay, he would never do that. Tyreek Hill. No, <laughs> we know. <laughs> Tyreek Hill. Well, that was a name perfect guy. angel. Let's say yeah. That has basically. to be a different Tyreek Hill. Yeah. Next, you're going to say he's like abusing his pregnant wife or something. That would yeah. not. No <laughs> way. There's no way. Um, they got Mike White. <laughs> that's yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. That is the great in. shame of this whole situation is yeah. that Mike White has been lost to us. 
Yeah. Like and golden God White. Dude, yeah. watch Mike White come in after two gets hurt, and he's just going to like become a Pro Bowl, just legendary I, Dolphin quarterback. Believe me, that is a, my Jets demon has t- <laughs> talked to me about this as well, that, that two is going to go down, and then Mike White's going to be a golden fucking God with Tyreek Hill and, and actually like uh, two for the Jets. Yeah. I keep, I keep telling you, dude, that demon's just Doja Cat. <laughs> it's possible. Is that, yeah, that, you know what? Yeah. It makes sense if you've seen the music video. I don't know why I assumed you had. Great. No, actually, I didn't. Oh, yeah. okay, good. On I was the... trying to. I was trying to lean into the bit, but I didn't have any context. <laughs> On to the AFC West, where we have the Chiefs. Yep, and yep. everyone else, and everyone well, else, and the Chargers. I guess the Chargers. But it's every year, it's like the Chargers. Yeah. This is their year. You... No, but it's not. It I never think... is. The Broncos are going to be an interesting team because, like, obviously yeah. last year, listen, after watching Nathaniel Hackett and Hard Knocks, I'm like, all right, I can see why he was not a good coach. <laughs> the dude is just, like, too goofy. He's just like, yo, we will. he's just got that, like, kind of dumb bro guy, kind of goofy personality. Doesn't he have a like soul a patch? Or am I wrong? He, yes. He's, yeah. He looks like he was in Smash Mouth or something. <laughs> Which, uh, R.I.P. Rip, R.I.P. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Sean Payton, I think, even though he is an ass, I think he can turn them around because <laughs> this, I mean, this yeah. dude's like one of the best coaches in like NFL history. Like he's up there. And he, and it's important to note too, from his perspective that uh, he must be confident that he can yeah. because he, he sat out for a while. Right. And, yeah. and waited to, till he got the opportunity that he mm-hmm. wanted, which was the Broncos. So yeah. He seems confident, at least. And considering his his record, I I would trust his confidence to some degree. Yeah, I think this will be the year we thought the Broncos would have last year. But I still don't think it'll be good enough to beat the Chiefs. Maybe not even no. the Chargers. <laughs> so, uh, maybe yeah, on par with the Chargers, actually. They'll probably be yeah, around I the same. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. We all but think the Raiders will do is worse as the Raiders. The Raiders yeah. are... <laughs> I don't. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. It's, I keep forgetting <laughs> but, uh, that that's their quarterback. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a downgrade, but also like I guess not that much considering it was Derek Carr. <laughs> yeah. Is it's, it is it is Devonte? Is he gonna play? Is he, he still there? I, he's there, kind of. I don't know if he's like mentally there. I, I heard. Well, I, I was there. reading stories in the off season that that were implying that maybe Devonte wanted out, or also. Oh, he probably wanted out. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. The most the most recent stuff says he's still looking for a trade, but it doesn't sound like it's going to happen. Now okay. I do. I put his name in with trade, and it says Packers, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, reunite. <laughs> <laughs> or I mean, Jets. Hey, come on, Jets. Hey, hey, come Jets. on, buddy. Although we have your draft picks, we can give over Vegas That's some true. of those. We could give out more of them. We we at this point <laughs> just we, keep going out. Give them like yeah. a twenty thirty one yeah. picks or something. Yeah, who shit, cares? You know? Yeah, at this point, it's not a we real year. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. everybody yeah, expects, will be dead uh, by then. If yeah. the Raiders are as bad as we think they are, I think he probably could be traded by the deadline. I would say, right for sure. Um, yeah. So the I mean they're. They're not good, <laughs> but they're, yeah, they're another they're good team. Where, like, team. They're not terrible. Like they're going to win some bad. games, but they're not. They're bad. Like, I would bad. actually say that due to their head coach, they are. Yes, bad that's and <laughs> will. Oh, yeah. Coach. yeah, I always forget that he's their head coach. Fucking Josh yeah. McDaniels. Yeah, you're looking at like a like a like a three win team. I think with these Raiders, I think yeah, it's I that give bad four. That sounds better though. I'm gonna, you know what? I'd give them four. Maybe if everything's going well, maybe five, I can see five. Yeah. <laughs> Best case scenario, <laughs> five and 12 Las Vegas Raiders, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it'd be yeah. fucking hilarious if the Raiders are really good and, and win the Super Bowl this year. That would be I don't fun. see how, I don't know how that could possibly happen, but yeah. you know, it won't. Wait, do they have uh, do they have Sam Howell? Are they the team with the Sam Howell? With uh, Sam the uh, Commanders is that? Uh, yeah, that's okay. the Commanders, which I've heard he's actually doing pretty well. Yeah, uh, that's what they all say in preseason, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the Chargers are the Chargers. They which are. They are. They are all, you look at the roster and you're like, dude, this team is so good. And then they play football and you're like, they either ah. get hurt, <laughs> they get hurt, they do some dumb shit, something just goes terribly. It's just, it's amazing. You know what it is? Maybe they maybe that's why is that they build 
their team entirely through Madden ratings, <laughs> it, and it, it it's not feels working. Like, that. <laughs> yeah. uh, like you, Justin Herbert, Austin Eckler, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, Derwin James. Yeah, dude, every time Jackson. you look at their fucking roster like that, it's like, how's this team not won four straight Super Bowls? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's more like I think you have to have fans to have like a team, right? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is a missing component. Dude, just right. let them go anywhere else. Like just anywhere that is in Los Angeles, please. Yeah. We're yeah. having a great time getting rid of terrible owners. Like maybe this is the next uh, the next target. Like well, you Spanos is you gotta, I think the next next most well, shitty. Or 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 say like one of the two. Like or, even yeah. just, you just put them in England. Like they don't even care. Like if the, they're like, oh, mm-hmm. but the time zone will mess them up. They can't be any more messed up than they already are. Just yeah, let them do fix it. Them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah good Give them like three home games. Be like, sorry guys, that's still more than they get already, which is zero. Yeah. It's like smacking the top of the TV to get the picture to come in clear. <laughs> Sometimes it just needs a violent change of settings. Yeah. How quickly has a team relocated again? It's got to be like St. Louis, right? Or the the Rams. Probably. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's yeah, the Rams or even that was still a while, but I think you're yeah, right. Yeah, that was still like 10 years. Yeah. So, then so the, they're, the they're Raiders? stuck here for a while probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. they're going to be there for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, the Raiders. Well, yeah, no, but they were in Oakland for a long time. They were, like, yeah. Maybe they've yeah, moved from LA to, hmm. to Oakland for like, what, 20 years? Yeah. 20, I don't know, years? I think so. Yeah, it's got to be the the Rams, probably the closest, I would think. Probably the fastest movers, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You, you think that you think the Chargers are going to do it? Pull the trigger on it soon? I hope they do, but they probably won't. No, I doubt it. Um, and then the the Chiefs are the Chiefs. They could literally half their team could get injured. They'll come back halfway through the season and like go on a run and win the Super Bowl yep. or something. Yep. So, Although I will say, I mean, if if Kelsey's out, who's who? Who are their other big? Players? It doesn't matter. Fucking I mean, that's true. Patrick it is still Mahomes Mahomes. lines up at tight Mahomes. end. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen him line up at tight end and make a play like that. Did you see how Mahomes block? Like they'll <laughs> just do some crazy oh, shit. Oh God, wait, that means this this, this she's play on Thursday, and it's usually NBC, right? So we are gonna get Collinsworth yep. this Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Kramer's yeah. just trying to prepare us. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, I yeah. at this point, I'd rather get Collinsworth than Tony Romo. Like straight I, up, I, uh, not when the Chiefs are playing. I think I don't know, man. What's wrong I, with like, Romo? What? What? When did, did the you hear Romo in the Chiefs public Bengals? opinion turn on Romo? Oh no, no, Jim! Would... Patrick Mahomes is gonna put his dick in. <laughs> yeah, at least Romo is like so bad. It has a little bit of comedic value to it. Collinsworth is just so fucking annoying. Yeah. He stopped doing the thing that was down. exciting about him, which was the analysis. He doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, they he made just... him stop. Yeah. So it sucks. Maybe they'll let him do it again. Who knows? Because that was, yeah. like, I, I used to like Romo, too. And then all of a sudden, they made him stop doing the analysis. He started being Patrick Mahomes. And that was, like, that was it. I was like, what happened? Did I they was really reading like stories. Just, I, it, it feels like the only explanation for that could be stop making everybody else look way worse than you. And is that what happened? I don't think it because the Bengals weren't playing bad. Like I, I was reading stories about which very well could be slander or i guess maybe libel but you know because sports media right but uh <laughs> uh about like how he doesn't prepare at all <laughs> like oh. he's usually he's <laughs> usually the broadcasters you know they spend like the week yeah. preparing for the next game with you know interviewing players and stuff right. and talking about things getting getting stuff and apparently he doesn't and mm. also shows up drunk sometimes but but again uh, this is even this is my recollection of an article i read many months ago so you know i don't know jim <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah i don't know maybe maybe he'll be all right uh, if he we'll does see. the analysis stuff i'm in i'm fully yeah. in i'm back in yeah even that's if all he's we want hammered Dude, actually, yeah, that was maybe even be hilarious. Still, I want him to be hammered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it makes it way more impressive that he's able to recall so much shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I think the NFL broadcasting would be a lot better if all of them were hammered the whole Amen. time. That's true. I mean, honestly, a lot of sports will do this with like star players, especially the NBA. They'd be like, "Oh, LeBron James, Steph Curry. Oh my God!" And it's just yeah. like, just <laughs> why do we have to like focus in? Just like yeah. talk about the entire game. Uh. So that's the AFC West. 
Then we have the AFC North. <laughs> ah! Sorry, that's my reaction to how difficult this division has become. Yeah, yeah. this is... Um, hardest division in football, I'll say it. I'll fucking say it. Yes, Probably true. the most stacked division. I mean, I guess you could make an argument for, like, I don't know, the AFC East. It's the other yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, uh, they're definitely, like... The, the the AFC Northeast has eight teams that could realistically make the playoffs. Yeah, like it's kind really of ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and but, almost all of them could. Yeah, uh, any any of those eight teams could have a shot. Um, uh, except the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no um, even the AFC West could be pretty crazy. I don't yeah. like what I've been seeing in the sports media the past couple of weeks because you guys, we can go back. <gasps> We'll go back in time. That's yep. the noise. That's the sound effect. Um, it, it sucks us when we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The cops show up. In. It's the time cops. <laughs> <laughs> they want to suck us too. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Let's let's chill out. Um, Sorry, I went, I went left turn into the porno version. Yep. I thought that yeah, was yeah, yeah, a no, big it mistake. Happens. Yeah, it happens. Um, <laughs> it's human nature. Um, mm -hmm. But. Uh, I, I was saying, Steelers, you watch out, man. After the draft, I was like, you you guys better watch out. This team is going places. And then in the preseason show, I was like, you guys better watch out. This team, it's going places. He's, he's and been then, linking us to Twitter videos. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. And now, guess what all the fucking sports media are saying? The Steelers are going places. And I'm like, no, you guys can't say this. Mm -hmm. Not you, like we need to be the underdogs. Like you need to not talk about us because now we're gonna fucking lose. Yeah, you're doing now, dude. It's too late. One yeah, of the people over. on the, on one of the shows picked the Steelers to win the division, and I was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> you guys yeah. are bringing the hot takes. Um, but no, regardless of of all that, uh, I, I think everyone's pretty like, in agreement that only the Browns can't win the division. Yeah, and pretty much. any of the other <laughs> yeah. three teams has a shot. It'll yes. probably be the Bengals. I see some people who are like, oh, it's got to be the Ravens. But no, nah, I if, think the Bengals have a much better shot. I think the Ravens can yeah. sneak it in there. If history I mean, has good. shown us anything, is that the Ravens will take the field and half of their team will instantly snap their legs and their whole <laughs> season will end. Like, I, yeah. Well, I will, I will point out that this year the Ravens, at least to me, have done things. That they were got, things that I said that they should do. They got one wide receiver, Rob. They but did he's it. Good. He is well, good. He <laughs> was good. A little, little old, but yeah. no, yeah. Yeah, they, they did what they could do. They got Odell Beckham Jr. That's better I, than they, they could, they've done. It is. It is the first time I think they've had a wide receiver in quite some time. Yeah. Um, and they have Mark Andrews still, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not a uh, Ravens hate. I mean, I hate the Ravens, but I'm not. Uh, like, you're a Ravens hater for sure. <laughs> I'm yeah, not like, like uh, in terms of like what I think they can and can't do. I think if they stay healthy, they absolutely could win the division. Um, don't want them to, but they could. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the Bengals are are in that similar Bills spot where you're like, okay, how long can you keep this up for? You're good, but some like. Can do you have the the Bill Belichick, you know, Patriot strength to continue to be good for a long time? Or are you going to have one of those seasons where things just don't come together? You know, injury, something like that. Yeah. That's, I think, they're in that Bill spot right now. Uh, but or they could also just totally slam dunk it and be really yeah. good again. <laughs> and then yeah. you have the Steelers who are like, man, like if it all comes down, like I, this week one game is I going to decide the fucking season for me. Because Kenny Pickett came out and fucking blew everyone out of the water in the preseason. Like, just looked looked like a fucking... Five for five, five drives, five touchdowns. I know that people are like, oh, it's preseason, doesn't really matter. Oh, they were playing backups. No, they did one of those against the Bills starters. The Bills starters. Yeah. So, I, look, I this week one, I, I my my heart's in my damn chest or in my in my stomach, my stomach. Uh, the Niners. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I and I I watched a, a, the one of the NFL uh, channel shows more people picked the Steelers and the Niners for the game. So I'm like, I will oh, not oh, be oh, one God. of those people. I'm gonna let you know God. right now. Sorry, You're, you'll you'll become a believer. Trust me. <laughs> I'll After pick them the following week when they play the um, the Texans or <laughs> the Browns. No, they don't play. Uh, they don't play the Texans. They play the Browns October. after that. Ah, yeah. yeah. No, but I'm, if Kenny Pickett has truly taken the step, it seems like he took. Like, again, preseason, we can't be sure. But if he did actually take that step, this is a fucking Super Bowl team. I'm telling you right now. Like, <laughs> Market that. It is, 
It is a September it is a could 5th, make the Super Bowl Super team. Bowl <laughs> but we have to see. We have to see. <laughs> We have to, I mean, just like I don't want to go too long, but like, look at look at the talent we've got. T.J. Watt, he's finally fucking healthy again. We just signed Highsmith, who had secretly an insanely good season last year. People are like, "Who's Alex Highsmith?" You better learn the name. Um, we added on tight end. We got we got. Uh, I almost said Jesse James right for the real one. Uh, he caught that ball. Um, no, we got Friar Muth, who also is just under the radar. He like, has been good. Yeah. The he Steelers, when they have a tight end, they just. He's always really good, and no one talks about him. Heath Miller, Jesse James, and now Fryermuth. Uh, and we added uh, the draft guy, who I can't remember his name because I'm bad with names. Uh, tight end uh, from. Uh, oh, Georgia. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I thought yeah. The Packers would go. Yeah, yeah. We got he. He's on the team. He looks really good. He had a great preseason too. Mercedes Lewis is on the team, by the way. Just as a side note. Sorry, uh, the Broncos. He's insane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then. Oh, Darnell uh, Washington. Darnell Washington, thank yeah. you. Yeah, he looked really good. Um, and I mean, George Pickens did some insane shit. We still got Deontay Johnson, Najee Harris, and uh, not only just Najee Harris, but Jalen Warren, like our other our, our RB two, looks really good. Had an insane like he's just fast and and, and you have Mitch been, Trubisky. Shut up and <laughs> we, uh, Dude, that's uh, the MVP. That yeah, should yeah. be number one on the resume. Actually. <laughs> Back to I just <laughs> I'm I'm looking at kind of a similar situation with the Jets, but not as many people were. I mean, they're talking about it now, but they weren't talking about it. But like the Steelers went out and got everyone they needed. You look at every single position except like O line, I guess. But even on O line, we added some really good depth. And there's a really good player. Every I mean, Mika, Mika Fitzpatrick. We got Joy Porter Jr. Uh, we signed Patrick Peterson, who's a solid bet. Like this team has the sh- has a shot. It's all about Kenny Pickett. Did he take that step or not? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got Allen oh. Robinson. We did yeah. get Allen Robinson as well. Yeah, he's I mean, like, he could have a wide receiver like three. Like, yeah. Uh, Pickens and Johnson. You know, you made me uh, you made me believe a bit more than what I thought. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm telling you, man. If you, as I, you should go back and watch those highlights I was posting in, in our Discord. My God. Yeah, it depends Those are on some Pickett. pretty throws. Yeah. That's really the thing is it depends on Pickett. And That's actually, the... to your point of the preseason, as a as a long time <laughs> viewer of preseason yep. and <laughs> a long time, uh, uh, I, yep. I don't know. I, I I made fantasies of of what happened because I, of preseason for sure. Yeah, but uh, well, there is an important point. Even if the, he's playing against starters on a good team. Uh, they're not actually running their playbook exactly. Right. Uh, right. That, again, that's why I'm like, week one, we have, the, it's the Niners. It's one of the best teams in the league. Yeah. It's the test of all tests. We get it early. That's perfect. I like it. Let's get it out of the way. And um, one of the best at play design and, yes. uh, and drive design yeah. and, yeah, defense. So, Usually yeah, I think that'll be in the, in the preseason, a lot of times you're looking for, like, fundamental type things. You're like, yeah. how is his footwork? Is and, he making and, the right reads, like, et cetera? And what mm. I liked, it was like everyone, I, I linked you guys. The the Pickens catch was insane. Like the the Jalen Warren run, like that was all good. But what really got me was there was a like thirty to forty yard pass from Kenny Pickett to Deontay Johnson, uh, in the same game as the Pickens. I think it was literally the play before the Pickens catch actually. And De- Johnson full sprint, and it was one of those where he just dropped it in the bucket. Like you know when like a receiver is doing that mm-hmm. run and they gotta go and readjust to find the ball. Deontay Johnson just like turned the ball just fell into his lap like a little baby and he yeah. went, kept running full speed. I was like that. That's all I need to see like that. That's the kind of throw that just makes you go. Oh, oh, the Steelers do find oh. just insane receivers just randomly. Which yeah, is no, always. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have a lot of faith in Mike Tomlin, to be honest. Yeah. I never count the Steelers out. Oh, and he yeah. still hasn't lost his record. Yep. Amazingly. <laughs> it is Somehow. Crazy. I don't know how last year we started like two and seven or some shows bad. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, no, I mean it's Mike Tomlin, man. Six. He he seriously is like uh, one of the I don't know top five, top three coaches in the league, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Um, Hall of Famer for sure. Um, oh, yeah. speaking of, I don't think know, anybody's ever going to break that record of his win rate. Probably not. It's it is pretty crazy. Gonna well, he might. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> He's I, gonna... I mean, if, he, if he keeps going, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. But. Uh, speaking of Hall of Famers, there's not many in the AFC South. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, we got, we got all these good one. teams <laughs> in the AFC, and then we have this fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. Texans this gross on the bottom of the conference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Texans are literally just still building. So they're just kind of building. Hey, you happens. know, CJ Stroud had some some bright spots, you know. Yeah. I mean, his first throw was an interception, but hey, that's us, you know. That's a that, yeah. that happens. Hey, it really you rather that. it happens in preseason than True. it happens in a real game. And honestly, so. it doesn't even matter in the real games because they're not going anywhere anyway. So they're just like just play point. and do it <laughs> and learn. Yeah. Uh, same with the Colts, except they're a bit more of a shit show with Jonathan Taylor and holding all that out. situation. <laughs> Yeah, is I mean, he just still, holding out? Is he yeah, just, yeah. yeah. I don't know if he's oh, is he holding out. Yeah, I know. I he, think like, he there's that situation still insane. They almost people, traded him to the Dolphins or the Packers. Apparently, the Packers yeah. tried and as always failed at trading. Yep, um, <laughs> yep a classic. Although we traded Aaron Rodgers pretty well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that was something. Uh, but yeah, now it's just he's like on the can't perform the physically unable to perform thing. Oh and yeah, they put him on the the like yeah the old pop list. list. Yeah, yeah, so I... Which, by the way, is that skirting the rules? Are they allowed to I do that? If anyone would know. try to do that, it would be Jim. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah like 100%. Would, like, the things he was saying is I, he's just the biggest yeah. douchebag. He's an idiot. Yeah. Uh, and then Jaguars, probably going to win the division if they keep moving forward. I hope they, they do. I would yeah. much like, no offense, Titans yeah, we'll fans, see. but, like, your team is boring. Jaguars are fun, <laughs> man. They are kind of boring. Well, but... I do love watching Derrick Henry. It is I do love Derrick Henry. Yeah. Experience. It, is, it, is, it is good. But he kind of had a quiet year last year, right? Like, he didn't really do Well, it's because Tannehill got hurt, and then they were like, yeah. all right, put, like, Everyone in the box. <laughs> All right, he can't yeah. run anymore. <laughs> so that was literally why. But he still did okay for having like the entire defense running at him. Yeah. Uh, but if Tannehill's healthy, they can make the playoffs. If he's not, then they're just bad. Yeah, they're screwed. Yeah. Uh, he had 1,500 yards last year. He did pretty goddamn good. Yeah, that's very uh, good. Yeah, but Derrick Henry I mean, should have had 2,000 personally. Yeah, yeah, had probably. 2000. Yeah. yeah. Has that's he that's ever a quiet had year for Derrick Henry. Yeah, uh, I wonder. Actually, I think he... Let me check. Uh, Derrick Henry had 2,027 uh, yards in 2020. Yep. Yeah. So... But yeah. actually, yeah, that's his third highest m amount of yards yes. was last year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Strong year. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I still... I mean, the Titans are still going to be there. They're not bad. You know, yeah. I just... I think we've kind of overshadowed them with the Jaguars, but... The Jaguars could either take that next step and be like, here we go, guys, or they could Jaguars it up and take a step back and be like, what are you doing? But I think they'll I think they'll move forward. I think they'll be all right. I think Doug Peterson is a good coach, yeah. and I think they'll probably do better. I don't think that they did they add anyone that was like, you know, I don't know what they did off season. Yeah, uh, I mean, oh, the, we we have uh, their wide receiver who cheated or not cheated, uh, but gambled. Oh, oh yeah. On, uh, What's the uh, name? Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley. Yeah, oh, that's actually pretty right. big. Yeah, that's pretty big. Because he's like a very good, good. wide receiver. <laughs> yeah. And he's nothing's wrong with him. He just gambled. Yep. Which, Which apparently is loves. a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah we'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't know any other big roster moves they made. Uh, hold on. We can check Jaguars Travis roster. ETN, he's pretty good. They got, they still got Christian Kirk. They got Evan Ingram, Josh Allen on defense. Who did yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they just have a bunch of like rookie dudes. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, they're still they're still gonna be good. Yeah, they'll, pro to. they'll probably be good. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if they get uh, one or two more wins than last oh, season. Yeah. Or they drafted Brenton Strange, a tight end. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's good. There you go. Help Trevor Lawrence. Maybe He's Trevor third Lawrence string. keeps getting better. Uh, the the tight end. Oh, wait, that was the second round. Ah. It, it took me to the second round instead of the first round. I don't know oh. why. <laughs> now they got an offensive tackle, Anton Harrison. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so they just right. shirt up things that need to be shirt up. That's pretty good. Yeah. they. Pro I mean, they probably need a good amount of rebuilding. Yeah, so, they yeah. definitely do. But, I mean, it is kind of, we're in a potential scenario. This is the kind of team, I feel like, that could be surprisingly really, really good. And, like, you know, surprise people yeah. how good they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, they very well could just be very much the same as last year, which, which would still be good for them. Yeah, it'll still be good. Um, then in the NFC, we have the NFC East. 
the Ooh, hell division. <laughs> the hell division. Yeah. It's just it's the Eagles. I don't know why you guys are pretending. It's not the they Eagles. Can't. It can't it's be the Eagles. The Eagles. It's it's magic be the Eagles. prevents it's them. <laughs> it's gonna be it the is Eagles. The law of magic, yeah. Apollo. That is be just the simply what you must accept. It's not gonna be the Eagles. I'm I'm guaranteeing it. it so it's gonna be so Eagles. you're saying the Cowboys then? Because uh, you guys aren't gonna probably. say the Commanders, and it's not gonna be the Giants. It I could mean, be it might Giants. be the Giants. It ain't no way. I mean, Dable last year surprised everybody with how good the Giants were, and now he's had a full off season yeah. to make it even more Dable's thing. And especially considering how the Bills didn't look as amazing last year, considering what Dable, the Dable leaving. I don't know. I think the Giants could be a sleeper team this year. He Dable leaves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, I just looked at the Cowboys. They actually have Brandon Cooks. I forgot yeah. Brandon Cooks. I always forget who he's on because he's just always on. Like, <laughs> so random. Mm -hmm. He's on the Saints, Patriots, Rams, Texans, and now he's with the Cowboys. He finally got to a, a good team. Well, good in quotation marks. Better yeah. than the Texans team. Yeah. Uh, they have Tony Pollard at running back, which honestly is pretty good. I like Tony yeah. Pollard. Uh, I think the, the other big thing is just that Cowboys defense. They, they looked good, and then they always get hurt. Or like they just yeah. goof it. Mike McCarthy clock management. There's just a lot of goofs with the the Cowboys. Where I'm like, I just I don't trust them. And we got to see if they stay healthy. Just generally, you know? yeah. Pretty much. Uh, the Eagles actually got uh, DeAndre Swift from the Lions, which I did not know. Yeah. Uh, and they still have good receivers. They still have Dallas Godair. They still have yep. a lot of good things. Because mm -hmm. the Eagles. Uh, then let's see the Giants roster. What happened to them? Because they resigned Saquon. Yeah. And they had what the shit? They still have uh, who's a what's it? You know. Yep, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, no Isaiah Hodgins as their wide receiver one, which uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, their wide receiver is <laughs> still not the greatest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They got. Oh, they have. Darius Slayton and Paris Campbell. I've heard of Paris Campbell and Darius Slayton. I don't know yeah. if they're very good, but I've heard of them. Let's see. I'm looking at their stats right now. Darius Slayton has never exceeded 1,000 yards okay. or 10 touchdowns in a season. Great. Uh, but he's an upper 700s kind of guy. Okay. And Paris Campbell is also has never exceeded a thousand yards but his best year was 600 yards last year on the colts oh that's who he was with the colts okay yeah um yeah yeah wow they are <laughs> a little a little, little light on the wide receiver front. The wide receivers yeah, yeah. Uh, but even last year they were and they still did all right so yeah i would have thought they would have tried to address that though would be my you would think so <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh they did not they brought saquon back they still have a yeah. I think pretty solid defense. Uh, so we'll we'll see how it goes. But they have Darren uh, Waller. That's that's a that's a big get actually. That's actually yeah. With the he's with the Raiders, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, well, I mean, you don't know these guys. Maybe they just needed a bigger opportunity, and now they'll get one and they'll shine in the light. Could uh, be, or it'll be terrible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the new look Washington Football Commander Team Hogs. That's right. Oh, hogs. No longer owned by insane shitty owner. Who is probably a, a like a a vile criminal? If, mm -hmm. if yeah, just being honest. Mean, definitely yeah. you mean? Yeah, yeah, almost certainly, right? I mean, at least considering yep. the Big from what we know. Sentient yeah. pile of poopy. It just yeah. it yeah, you gotta feel happy for the Washington fans that they are now free from him. Like it's over. Yeah. <laughs> You can it start healing. Nature Who is owns healing. It now? Who's the who's the owner? Some Josh person. Some guy that owns another sports Josh. like yeah. baseball team that bought this ah, one. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much just I think just a normal shitty owner, not like an insane shitty right, owner. Right, right, yeah. Uh so they are going with Sam Howell at quarterback with Jacoby Brisket backing him up. Yeah. So that's gonna look pretty good. You know, yeah. if he doesn't do that well. But Sam Howell apparently he was looking good in the preseason. Three touchdowns, 265 yards, zero interceptions. Come on, man. Everyone knows the preseason doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count, though, yeah. So that sucks for him. 
Uh, he's got actually that they have pretty good wide receivers, to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah. They I have, mean, Terry McLaurin is one of the best. Yeah. Terry McLaurin is an actual like insane wide receiver is just on Washington. Three straight 1000 yard seasons in Washington. Yeah. That's impressive in itself. In, yeah. <laughs> With how many QBs was that? Like nine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then they have Curtis Samuels actually had some pretty good years in Carolina. And then here, you know, probably like five to 800 yards a year. And then Jahan Dotson had 500 yards and seven touchdowns last year. So, I mean, they're yeah. pretty good at wide receiver. Any of those guys would be a number one on the New York Giants. <laughs> yeah. Sam Howell, uh, by the way, was a fifth round pick. So it's actually yeah. kind of wild that they're going, they're starting it. Yeah. I mean, they might as well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Brian I mean, Robinson, I guess. Yeah. Brian Robinson actually, uh, had 800 yards and two touchdowns last year. And that was after he got like shot in the leg and he had to come oh, back right, halfway yeah. through the year. Cause he got like robbed at his car or something. Uh, he was the Alabama running back. So, I mean, he could have a breakout year. Yeah. Uh, that's honestly, actually, he's kind of, he seems like a sleeper, uh, fantasy could be pick, the sleeper. Pick. Yeah. Mm, you never mm. know. Could be. Um, and then honestly, they still have a lot of good defensive Player mainly on the line, good, yeah, yeah, like Chase Young, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Montez Sweat. Like, those are all like high draft pick players. Like, yeah. it's a good line when they're healthy. So, I do mean, do they have a weak secondary? They look like they have a weak secondary, yeah. I think their secondary is not that great. I think Kendall Fuller's okay. Okay, so uh, young. I don't know Derek Forrest, Cameron Curl. It seems like these are both. Manual very forward. young players. Uh, yeah. So they might just yeah. be young. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah, Emmanuel young. Forbes is their first round pick 16 this year. So he could be oh. good. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Derek Forrest was a fifth rounder a few years ago and he had four interceptions last year. So I mean, uh, and he had yeah. this amount of tackles and then Cameron Curl was a 2020 seventh rounder that had mediocre numbers. He's probably the worst one. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, I mean, all right, looking at all this, I may have talked myself into becoming a Washington commander. <laughs> oh. Yikes. This might be a sleeper <laughs> team. Dude, that's the NFC East. Nobody it knows. Did the bile come out of your mouth when you said that? <laughs> 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 um, I remember when you said I talked him into being a Steelers believer. I don't think that holds much weight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, listen, uh, again, it's the NFC East. Nobody knows. Yeah, I agree. It's it a is, black magic division. It is a wild know. division. Um, so it's really, that's it. It's just, that's an RNG division. Nobody knows. And Except they won the, uh, all won three winning. of their preseason games, too. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. It doesn't matter, though. Then no, the NFC not. West, uh, which used to be an insane division, is now a weird kind of shitty division, but not yeah. shitty, but not. It's I don't weird. really believe in any of these teams other than the 49ers, and I have doubts in the 49ers just because I'm yeah. still not a Brock Purdy believer. I'm just not. Well, I am under the belief that you could put pretty much any quarterback into the 49er system and they will do pretty well. Uh, cause yeah. their offensive line is good. They have Christian McCaffrey. They have DJ Samuel and like all these insane receivers. They have, uh, uh Debo Samuel. Or Debo sir? Samuel. Yeah. I'm Don't thinking you disrespect uh, the hero of my past three <laughs> fantasy league teams. <laughs> Debo Samuel. They got is still an insane defense. Like that is, they're still a really good team just overall as a football yeah. team. So I actually think that this, this is the sleeper division. Oh, wow. yeah. All right. Do because, tell. Well, so, I mean, if we're the only ones, even though I, I agree with Apollo in that I don't have a lot of faith in any of these teams, mm -hmm. the only one that I am completely faithless on is the Cardinals. Yeah. Where I think they're going to be garbage. But right. we're talking about. Geno season Seahawks. Geno <laughs> season. <Yep. laughs> we're talking Geno. about. Mr. Irrelevant 49ers. Right. And possibly resurgent Los Angeles Rams under the guidance and leadership of uh, Sean We also have some bad news for the Rams. 
Cooper uh -oh. Cup still might be injured forever. <laughs> yeah. So Cooper Cup right. seeing so a hamstring the specialist. The season Seahawks <laughs> and the <laughs> Mr. Relevant <laughs> Niners. Yep. Um, okay, well, that does actually color it a little bit. But yeah. even still, I, I don't know. I, I do think that the Rams might bounce back a bit this year. I mean, I think they're going to bounce back to some degree hmm. consider like i think that's that's yeah, not even a bold I think they'll be prediction a bit they did really shitty last year yeah. right like it's they a low bad. bar to clear so i think they'll do well uh at least in relation to that and yeah i you know what i'm gonna be honest i still have faith in geno season yeah genuine i don't <laughs> <laughs> i think he'll do all right i don't know if it'll be like last year but i don't think he'll do terribly like, uh, There's definitely some some like it felt like Geno's season kind of sputtered out at the end. I mean, they well, the season. Really competitive. Really chaps my ass is when Apollo refuses to believe in the power of magic, <laughs> <laughs> <It really does. laughs> unless it's Stealer preseason magic. That's, That's not good magic ass, though. Jack. That's just skill. <laughs> <laughs> for the other teams, it doesn't matter. At all. It doesn't matter for any other team. <laughs> um, I mean, I look. I said it last year. I'll I'll reiterate it now. The ways that Gino was good were ways that are replicable, and he he replicated them game after game. So I think as long as that team is stable, he'll do potentially as well as he did last year. Uh, and that was actually like top ten, top fifteen QB. So yeah, you know. Well, hold on, the twenty twenty two quote QBR rankings. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go into stat muse oh, and shit. he's oh come on where'd you the go the first buddy? stat oh, truck of the season oh no he's not oh. even in the list what happened oh. i missed it i missed it oh, what was the God. what was the bombshell i was going uh nfl qb rating leaders 2022 and I thought for sure he'd be up there in the top 10. Oh, it's because I was looking for a J instead of a G because I'm an oh, idiot. He's top my. five, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh Gino Smith. Oh, in what that's stat? Around. Quarterback rating. Ooh, yeah. that doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> oh, well. Doesn't. Well, get, let me give you another one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, give me 70% like... completion percentage on the year. That's okay, pretty good. 200 yards. Uh, What's his uh, NEA? What is an NEA? That is, he did have the a... highest of anybody in completion percentage. really in nea oh okay oh no completion. completion yeah well that's really good but yeah. nea mm -hmm. it, it's a it's a it's a formula stat so it's like uh it's uh attempted yards versus uh, air yards or something like that well, that one I sounds like remember. apollo will tell me it doesn't matter so i'm gonna give him another, another <laughs> no, one that, that, that one's actually a slightly more advanced stat than okay. than <laughs> one of the regular yeah they got ones. some crazy stats now if it's around if he's around seven or eight that's good if you find that, I would be curious to hear where okay, he was there. Well, while Gino. you do that, we can talk about the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, yeah. They are bad. Yes. They are <laughs> yeah. the token dog yep. shit team of the year. Congratulations, <laughs> Arizona Cardinals fans. They have uh, Joshua Dobbs and Clayton Toon as their quarterbacks. Yeah. Uh -oh. Until Kyler Murray returns. And even when he returns, I don't think they're going to do that much. <laughs> Don't even have Hopkins anymore. Yep, don't have Hopkins. They have Hollywood Brown and Rondale Moore. Wait, where is Hopkins again? Titans. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Actually, thinking about that, that does make the Titans more alluring. It does. I actually forgot they had. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I, and by the way, if you're curious, his NEA or his A A A A A A A A A A A <laughs> which is uh pretty good that that'll okay. be that'll be uh near tops in the league and yeah. it's adjusted yards gained per pass attempt oh that that, that right. actually does sound like a pretty notable statistic then yeah it's that it's is, nice here it, if you uh if you i'll i'll put the uh this is his pfr in the yeah 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 and then you, you, they, they have a little tool tip if you just go over a, Do a Eugene a. Cyril Smith the third. I'm sorry, I didn't know <laughs> that about my boy Gino. That's Isn't an excellent name. That is that incredible, is actually. <laughs> sorry, Eugene Cyril Smith the third. Damn. No, I mean that was it. That was all. I had. Should we just call him Eugene Smith from now on. I think so. Yeah, the third. <laughs> yeah, the third. Uh, that's pretty great. 
so hey, the, the main moral of the story, the division here is that it's probably going to be the 49ers. Yeah, seems like a safe bet. Yeah. Uh, NFC North. Woo! Oh, boy. Well, this is all yours, bud. Woo! Um, folks, I watched the preseason. <laughs> Let me tell you how much this matters. I watched specifically the Jordan Love preseason and then shut it off after that because I didn't care. But yep. it was pretty good. He did all the things I, I wanted him to do. Here's the, here's the thing. I wasn't like, let's see what numbers he puts up. Let's see. It was crazy. Like, I was just like, please make your reads. Be, like, calm, confident in the pocket. You know, make good decisions, and then that's it. Now, obviously, he had a few, like, underthrows or some bad passes or bad decisions, but, like, not that many. Like, he was actually, he's looked slowly better every year. Uh, Cause I mean, I've watched him in other preseasons too. And he, this was clearly the best he's been. Like, it's obvious this might blow your mind, but players can develop. What? Yeah. Since I, when? <laughs> uh, it's insane. Players can get better over time. It's a crazy no, concept. No, Crendor, they, when I put <laughs> on field, play good now, now play good. <laughs> yeah. Well, now he do play good. Uh, oh, that's good. <laughs> at least I hope what? so. What? Uh, so he just like, some of the throws Jordan Love made this season, well, preseason, were, like, really good. Like, perfect, like, accurate, insane throws with, like, quick release. Uh, he had some good scrambles out of the pocket. He, like, he did everything you'd expect him to do, which is pretty much all I'm expecting this year. I'm not expecting him to go out and, like, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, like, light it up or crazy. But, like, here's a guy. Just, here's a guy. <laughs> uh, but he played... Good enough to where I feel like it would be on par with our team last year to where like bad Aaron Rodgers level, like good Jordan Love level. Like he was, he had some, in fact, he had some better deep balls than Aaron Rodgers had uh, to some of the guys. So I think the, the big thing I'm looking forward to this year is Jordan Love is not going to pass up on a receiver because he doesn't trust them. And it's just, mm. like, I just hated that. He's like, guys wide open. Like, yeah, I don't trust him. He hasn't earned my yeah. respect. Like, he's just going to throw the ball. And we're going to run the ball. We have a good offensive line. We have a good running game. They're going to run. We're going to play 49er football, which is what I thought we'd do last year. But Aaron Rodgers audibled out of it all the time. So this year, we're actually going to do it. And Jordan Love knows the system. Like, he's been in the system three years. It's all he's known while he's been here. Yeah. Uh, his footwork has greatly improved. Like I watched uh, a video comparing him like now to back then, like his arm motions better, quicker release, his footwork's better. His like, you can watch his reads and like his presence in the pockets, but like everything's just better about him. He actually looks like a quarterback that is NFL ready now. Now, I don't know if that means he's going to be Derek Carr or if he's going to be good or if he's going to, you know, injuries could, like, I don't know, but I am not, that worried about the Packer season now after watching that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. And week one against the bears, it's actually really weird because the bears have a lot of hype right now. They're like Justin Fields. This is like his big year next year's contract, like for Justin Fields. So we have to decide this year, like, is he going to be good? And like, they just did all this stuff and they got D, uh, DJ Moore. They bring all this in and then they're like, all right, here we go. New season, week one. But then week one is like Jordan Love Packers and every Bears radio thing I've listened to are all they're just like, oh, God, we're going to lose yeah. it. We're going to lose this game, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> and it's because the focus is going to be like Jordan Love on Justin Fields. This is the new era of NFC yeah. North football quarterbacking. And in, I guarantee you with the shitty uh, defensive line, the Bears have an extremely terrible defensive line. Like they focused zero efforts into it. The Packers are just going to run like they're just going to run. The Bears averaged on their defensive line that they did not improve five yards a carry to opponents. Ooh, so, that is absurd. That's <laughs> it's lot. insane. So That's they're just going bad. to run and they're going to run and they're going to run and they're going to wear them down. And then Jordan Love's going to do some play action, do some like Christian Watson quick slants. Like they're just going to do some easy football. There's going to be nothing crazy. Maybe they take a deep shot, but like it's and it's all going to be on the Packer defense, which is what worries me. That's gonna be, like the offense. I'm actually not even that worried about. It's the defense where I'm like, can we please with our team full of first round pick defenders, like actually play like it? Like, <laughs> my God. Oh, 
So mm-hmm. if they can do that. That's He's getting ready all... for the game. Yeah. <laughs> he has Boom. to purge before every game. That's yeah. important. Yeah. So. so that's the defense is honestly my biggest concern. Even the special teams, I think, is a little better. We got, you know, Daniel Carlson, the, the kicker. The, is he a, isn't that a, um, a stand up comedian? Uh, no. <laughs> There's <laughs> Daniel Carlson, who's a kicker in the NFL. He was with the Vikings, now he's with the Raiders. We got his brother, who I believe is <laughs> Anders Carlson. And in oh. the preseason, he kicked a 57 yarder, which was like the longest in Lambeau Field. Uh, wow. just Dude, he's got game. the super special secret ability only bestowed to little brothers. That's mm-hmm. he's, yeah. he's gonna have the best kicking leg of all time. And exactly. he got the way more mysterious name. True. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we also that of a, <laughs> an evil villain typically. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We also my got, name is uh, Anders Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> we got a new punter as well. Uh, I actually don't even remember his name because it's like a his Carl name is. <laughs> Daniel Whelan, Wellen. Uh, so we just have like some rookie ass specialty. But here's the thing: Hello, team... yeah. we are the transplants <laughs> from Sweden to the NFL. We will play all positions. <laughs> we uh, we went from being one of the oldest teams to one of the youngest teams now. So it's like this is all development, and it feels good because it's like even if we lose, if we play well, I'm like, hey, you know what? Developmental year. But if we win, I'm like, ooh, fast development. Yeah, I'll be annoyed uh, yeah. if you do well this year because you're you're like one year behind the Steelers right now. Like this yeah, is this last, really... <laughs> our last year is supposed to be your this year. So. Yeah. So yeah. we'll uh we'll see. I mean the the thing that gives me the most confidence is our offensive line is still ranked as a top five offensive line. And when you have a good offensive line like yeah. that, it pretty much helps correct a lot of mistakes that it's can. It's really happen. helpful for a young QB yeah. too. Really, just any quarterback, I might say, <laughs> or yeah, just running back, any or, for sure. But, but any. like, I think I, I've I've seen many QBs be ruined by the Jets oh, by having yeah. a shitty offensive line. <laughs> yeah. So, um, also, we have a new tight end, one of our top draft picks, Luke Musgrave, <laughs> and uh, nice. just, what a he's, name! He's got a yeah. fantastic mustache. Like, really, does he have a Musgrave? He kind of does. Hold on, let me. I'll throw it in the uh, the old chat here, so you see, can again, see. See again, NFL needs to add some like WWE flair. All these players should have uh, <laughs> different personas that they come different the mustaches. With. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that mustache is a problem. That's <laughs> a frightening mustache. That's, That's what I'm saying. Being honest. Yeah. No one's told him to shave it. Someone <laughs> needs someone needs to be a good friend to him and tell I kinda him to like go that, ahead with that one. If though. he yeah, slicked I, his hair back, he would look like an Italian immigrant coming over to uh <laughs> <laughs> in the nineteen twenties. Kind of does, like, yeah. Right? It's, it's like me in college. No one had the the kindness to let me know that one side was growing in a lot further yep. down than the other. And like <laughs> you, you gotta at least trim that up, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Um unless it works for him. Then you know, we'll see. Hey, if he yeah. likes it, you know, yeah, he's, uh, he's the fucking NFL well, player. What the hell he's do a, I know? Yeah, he's a millionaire NFL player. I don't think he's, he's six foot six, two hundred fifty three pounds <laughs> right, yeah. That's all the beauty <laughs> shave his fucking uh, mustache. <laughs> But I'm our wide yeah, receiver I'm in, my, uh, in my room in my underwear. I'm like, yeah, this guy's got to work <laughs> on his hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, our wide receiver core is great. Christian Watson still very good. I imagine he's going to be targeted a lot because he's fast and he catches the ball and he had a lot of touchdowns last year. And I imagine he will be the go to target. I hear uh, what NFL teams are looking for these days. It's pretty crazy. That, yeah. yeah. Uh, sleeper pick crazy Romeo Dobbs. Catch. Looked pretty solid. He made some really good. There's one dude, one deep pass. It was like a 40 yard deep pass. Ro- Do- Romeo Dobbs caught it. It was beautiful. I was like, dude, that was that was a mama mia. I was a woo. Uh, <laughs> Jaden Reed, maybe the sleeper pick. Maybe potentially the sleeper pick. Dude is fast. He made some insane catches. Not really dropping anything. He had a couple touchdowns. Like he, he was looking pretty good. He yep. may be the sleeper pick. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm ready. I'm you know, ready for some I- fun stuff. I'm just gonna say we're burying the lead on the most important piece of news out of this division, which right. is that the Bears aren't a C anymore. Oh, they're that's a right. bear head. They are yeah. a bear head now. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're wait, an angry, what? Yeah, they yeah. they got rid of the asymmetrical C. Why? Which, I mean, I like the bear head more, honestly. The bear head. Oh no, okay, that bear head. Yeah, now that's a good bear head. Yeah. It's a pretty good bear head. But yeah, it's a, it's a good bear head. 
I don't know. I, I think they could do. They could get a better bearhead if they're going to be the bearhead team. That's been their bearhead for a while, though. But I know. Could. That's why they should get a different bearhead. I know we're on the <laughs> NFC North right now, but we just got a quote in break, breaking quote oh. that's so <laughs> fucking <laughs> funny. <laughs> Yep. This is uh, Sean Payton to Russ, Russell Wilson on caring less about his public image. Will you fucking stop kissing all the babies? You're not running for public <laughs> office. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I take back what I said about the Broncos. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. <laughs> um, <laughs> then we have the uh, Lions who should win the division. This is their year, right? Like Packers are trying yeah. to rebuild with like, you know, we're like kind of rebuild, but also play, but still they're young. The Vikings, I think, take a step back. They lost some players. The Bears are still kind of figuring out who they are. Like the Lions should have made the playoffs last year. Like this should they be should've. the Lions year. They should have. Yeah. It should have been the Lions over yeah. the Geno seasons. Sorry. <laughs> it's like this should be it. This is they've been building for a few years. We saw them on Hard Knocks. They're rebuilding. They're doing all, and this is it. Right? Like, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Well, here we go. We'll see. I do we'll not. See. I do not have very much faith. In yeah, I don't think it's going to happen at all. And then I yeah. think they're going to be bad again. Uh, yeah. It's just it's because they've done it so much. I think they're going to do it. I believe. They might. I, they might as well. It's more fun that way. It is. Yeah. Fun, though. <laughs> want to believe so? I, yeah, I want them to. I always like an underdog team doing well. However, yeah. I feel like I am putting all of my underdog hope uh, energy into the Jets this year. So <laughs> I don't yeah. think I got that's room for my, the Lions. That, that's my. That's see. I'm in the opposite where I'm like. I can't believe in the Jets because I want to believe in the Lions, and I uh, feel like there's only room for one. Yeah. 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 Accurate. They... Different conferences, though, could be Jets yeah. Lions Super Bowl. It's true. It could. No, nah, nothing. This is where true magic know, comes. Right? It could <laughs> be <laughs> any AFC team versus NFC team Super Bowl. It is possible. Right, Packers well, that, yeah. Steelers <laughs> forty five rematch. Yes. <laughs> Same results. Dude, no, but, okay. No. no. <laughs> As an aside, though, like how it would it it would be great in just the wildness if it was jets lions super bowl right i'd watch just the shit watch out of that it, yeah. super bowl 100 times right? over because the thing is even if you look at the super bowl players for the past like all of them because there hasn't been that many it's like 50 something right mm -hmm. um really it's kind of a handful of teams that are overrepresented uh overrepresented in the in all of those Super Bowls. Are There's you some... telling me that the Chiefs, Patriots, Steelers, <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much about it, like, have dominated the, the AFC yeah. for the two decades? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it would be cool having something weird in there. Like, I like I, I like all the years where it's a weird team. Yeah. The, Most Super Bowl Super appearances. Bowl. Patriots, 11. Yeah. Steelers, Cowboys, 8. Broncos also eight, 49ers seven, and then Chiefs, Rams, Raiders, Giants, Dolphins, Packers, and Washington five. Yeah. Uh, yeah but you got, you gotta look at you gotta look at past twenty years though instead. And then it then yeah, it's yeah, Patriots yeah, eleven. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then like everyone else too. I mean, even even in the broader scope, the Patriots have been in about one fifth of the Super Bowls that have ever yeah, been played. Which is <laughs> That's insane. Wild, yeah. Yeah, that um, is upsetting. <laughs> yeah, but if we include NFC Championship games, dude, we are <laughs> we are way <laughs> up there. Uh, I I really hope it's the the Lions, but then the the Vikings are still the Vikings, which means is, they lose. Which means, yeah, yeah. They, uh, it's just, they're, I see them. I think they come down to earth this year. I think they will be like a wild card contender, but they they're have, not going to be like last year. They have the best offensive player in the league. Like yeah, uh, that, that they do matters a lot. And yeah, I think that, really that, that alone makes them still a team that is very capable of being in the playoff picture. Yeah, it's weird that you think George Pickens is on the Vikings. <laughs> yeah, <That's... laughs> yeah I, like they lost was... Alvin Cook though. They did uh, lose Alvin that's, Cook. That's a big blow for they sure. They also yeah. lost uh, Adam Thielen. 
which is another big yeah, one. That's yeah, yeah that's yeah that's rough yeah Justin so. jefferson is just good enough to kind of compensate for that i think though man they like also well insane. we'll see you right because i mean that's yeah. gonna be the thing is he's gonna get all the attention yeah he's definitely the guy to, now yeah. yeah exactly like last year feeling is still good so yeah you know, feeling was yeah. such a good red zone weapon dude like yeah, yeah they they really relied on him a lot for that last year so that is going to be a big blow as well yeah they uh they also lost cam dantzler who was one of their corners they also name. lost darius smith who was yeah. a name a hall of names i think yeah. do need a hall it really of name. seems uh, important to me i'm gonna work on that by the mm -hmm. way the lions have a guy named isaiah bugs that's, that's, okay. that's, that's pretty great that's pretty great is he that's a gangster like, uh, is he a bootlegger does he does he uh run a speakeasy i think he's a lineman <laughs> he is a lineman but on the side yeah, so then he yes. definitely runs a speakeasy yes, yeah. yeah of course yeah uh <laughs> so it's honestly i think the nfc north is probably one of the most unsure divisions in football because like i can yeah. see Probably any team like showing up, and be like, "Wow, okay, they're doing better than I thought they would," or like, "Yeah, they're doing pretty bad." Like, I can see any of these teams kind of doing good or bad. So, yep. it's well, lot. we saved the worst for last. Hooray! Yay. The NFC South, everyone. Take oh, it, City boy. B. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers <laughs> are shit. <laughs> <laughs> lost their quarterback i don't know if you guys are familiar with him he won a few super bowls he's he's been in the league for yep. a little while gone yep. now and this team as a result is poo poo yeah like he's still here <laughs> yup 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 yep. yep. baker <laughs> mayfield baker <laughs> Mayfield. Baker, Baker Mayfield. Let me tell you, Coach. Baker <laughs> Mayfield. Coach. <laughs> not going to watch football. Oh, Tampa Tampa Bay. oh, wait. Actually, yeah, I, this is making me realize <laughs> yep. we need Sinvicta particularly for the power ranking segment. Power rankings. Power yeah, rankings. Yeah. Somebody, somebody, somebody else is going to have show. to take over the power rankings or come up with a new thing. I did pull up the NFL.com power He's rankings. <laughs> Coach. Yeah. Here we go. Top five. Are we starting... doing? We're just, just skipping we're through skip the NFC South. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> top five. No, I starting you with should Rob. do that because that this is the only podcast I, I, with the balls to skip. I the do. NFC South. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have to fill airtime. We can yeah. just skip that division. <laughs> We will uh, rank the division based on their power rankings. There right, we go. Give me the Chiefs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rob. Uh, it's hard now. We won. Hard. You don't know. I don't think it's that hard. I'm going to go with the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. Bear. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, I was going to say pick the other yeah, Super Bowl team. <laughs> yeah. uh, give me the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, and Rob. Oh, come on. Uh, give me the... Mm. We already said Chiefs. Yep. yep. Yeah. Give me the Bills. Yep, you don't get hey, there. Yeah, it is right. the top wow. five. Can anyone? <laughs> oh my! Uh. <laughs> For uh, something nobody will get. Can anyone pick the number six team on the power rankings? The New York Super Jets. <laughs> oh, oh damn! Oh. The 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 Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> uh, is it the? I think I know. Uh, Get it out. Uh, Get it out, the Cowboys? Yep. Uh, no. Cowboys. Cowboys. No. Oh, I forgot. The, they what's keep his name? doing this to yeah. us. Yeah. He has Dan his Hans huge. He's Dan Hanzoos. Dan Hanzoos. This, Hans is, this right. isn't even Dan Hans. This is Eric Edholm. They Wait, fired what? Dan Hans? Where's Dan Hans? What the fuck? Wait, the is world this the NFL. Is com power yeah, ranking? this is the NFL.com power ranking. NFL so how Bible does another person also have a Cowboys bias? That wait, make wait, sense. guys, guys! I think I see a recruitment opportunity. Here. Hey, <laughs> show. he might this... be out of our budget. He's fresh out of work, though. He might be desperate. 
He'll I work feel for like Patreon money. <laughs> if you want to become an NFL.com writer, you have to be like, uh, Cowboys, you know, yeah, my favorite. Yeah, we love the Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, does yeah. he have the Ravens right after the Cowboys? He does. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it's the yep. same guy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> we just put a different suit on him. <laughs> All right, Robert. The New yes. York Jets are in the mm-hmm. top 10. True or false? Ooh. Ooh. I mean, who would be ahead of them? Well, we already got to seven. Right? <laughs> we did. So there's, we did. So there's, there would only be two <laughs> ahead of them. Yeah. 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 Um, Give it to who else me, could it be? The Titans? The, yeah, the Saints? Ah, you know what? I'll say, I'll say true. You are correct. They are number oh, 10. Oh, my God. Right. Literally number 10. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Who's ahead of them? The Dolphins and the oh. Jaguars. Oh. oh. My whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Followed by the Detroit Lions and the San Diego, Los Angeles, London Chargers. Nice. Uh, Apollo. Oh. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Are in the top fifteen. True they or false? They fucking better be. I'm gonna say true. You are correct. They are Yay. fourteen. Yeah. Uh, one ahead of the Minnesota Vikings, but behind the Seattle Seahawks. That's insane. But that you know what? He'll learn. He'll fucking learn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go, Bear. Yes. We're gonna give you a, a crazy one. All right. Uh oh. The Los Angeles Rams are in the three worst teams in the NFL at the bottom. Ow. True or false? Oh, that I, I yeah yeah they are are they they uh, that they are yeah there's no way is true they what? are wow. below the I, Cardinals I, and the Texans. At they're below 30. the Cardinals. <laughs> oh no, the Cardinals and the Texans are below them. Oh, they're okay. below. Okay, but Good everyone enough. else. God. <laughs> so I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna point out a pattern I've noticed from uh, of Crendor Sinvicta, yeah, uh, which is that they've all been true. <laughs> that is correct, Rob. <laughs> you oh, are I'm so ready for the next question. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. Uh, true. The... <laughs> Somehow the Rams are worse than the Colts, the Buccaneers, and the Raiders, and the Falcons, and the Panthers, and the, and Bears. the Panthers, and yeah, what? Yeah, no. I don't think that's true. This I don't is... think that's gonna shake out that way. No way. All right, this is for everybody. The Green Bay true. Packers true. Yeah, true. are in the <laughs> top twenty of the NFL power rankings. Ooh. I'm going to say false just to fuck with him. I'd say <laughs> true because I think he's just really going to hammer the true bit. Home. I think it is also, but I also be think true. it's We're not even true. guessing based on the fact. No, no, that I also <laughs> think it's true. It is false. They oh, are. Yeah. Yeah. He caved I instantly. <laughs> well, he I knew if it. I did another true, you'd be like, dude, he's playing mind games. He's going to go true again to throw the dip. But then I went false. So dude, triple bluff. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. They are ranked 21. Not 20th. The the Denver Broncos are 20th with the Giants at 19, the Browns at 18, the Falcons at 17, which I. That's insane. That is insane. And the Saints at 16. So I'm okay with the Saints being high. I'm the Saints. But Falcons is in fucking insane. Yeah, I don't know about that one. So according to the power rankings, we have Saints in first, Falcons second. Then we have the Panthers third and the Buccaneers fourth, which uh, I agree with this. I think that might be the list that I gave. It might be. I, I, might, I might have swapped the Panthers and Falcons. Yeah. Well, we, we skipped talking about the NFC South, but the Panthers are kind of, they might be good, right? Uh, dude, it's a, we, it's a rookie quarterback, man. There ain't no way to know. Yeah, yeah. it's, uh, I, it's the Saints and then a shit show pretty much. I think. Yeah, they've got they've got Thielen. Who's their uh, who's their coach? Uh, Frank Reich. Frank Reich. Yeah. Yeah. And he he's a good coach. Yeah, I mean he could potentially be be good. But the Saints have Derek Carr, Jamal Williams, Chris Olave, Michael Thomas, Jawan Johnson. They have a good defense. Like the Saints are, they should win that division. Yeah, almost certain. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, and they like, have the the quarterback tight end running back receiver guy. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. That guy. Who, the uh, one who just Jamara? always gets the first down, like no matter what. It just yeah. worked every time. It's so oh, uh, yeah. Taysom Hill. oh that guy, yeah. Taysom Taysom Hill. Hill. Taysom Taysom Hill. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh the Falcons. How does that keep working, by the way? I just as an aside. I, it's it's amazing that it does. The Falcons still they have Desmond Ritter at quarterback and That's Taylor like, Heineke backing him up. What what world does this guy think that Desmond Ritter is going to be good? I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, the, how he was uh, a here's the thing. Third They're round just like, pick. yeah, you know, third round pick last year. He played. He had two touchdowns, 700 yards. Uh, <laughs> they'll probably do better than the Packers. Uh, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> okay. Um and then the Panthers, uh, let's see. What is the Panthers roster? Because Panthers depth. Just look at it, yeah. Uh, their depth chart is Bryce Young, Andy Dalton backing them up. Yep. Uh, they have Miles Sanders at running back, which that was the Eagles running back, wasn't it? Miles yep. Sanders? Yeah. So they got Miles Sanders. I did not know they even did that. Uh, and then Chubba they have Hubbard. Chubba Hubbard. Chubba mm-hmm. Uh, Adam Thielen, DJ Chark. I forgot they had DJ yeah. Chark. I mean, they got, you know, pretty decent stuff around him. Hayden Hurst at tight end. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, they're, I think they'll do all right. Their defense, I think, is pretty good. They got Brian Burns, Shaq Thompson, Justin, you know, they got Justin Houston, Von Bell. Those are some mm-hmm. names I know. Yeah, if he changed his last name to Miller, he'd probably be really good. <laughs> <laughs> probably would be. Uh, wasn't Von Bell with the Bengals? or yeah, the Bengals, right? Yeah, he was. He was with the Bengals. Look at that. So Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think the I think they'll be all right. Like they seem like decent. But then again, we play uh we watch the games, they play out, and you're like, oh man, they suck. Or like that. I thought that'd be worse. Uh I thought they had Shy Turtle and it's Shy Tuttle. Oh was kind of disappointing. Shy Turtle would be a Great name. That's it a fucking a great rapper name, name dude. <laughs> that, or a children's <laughs> book character. Absolutely. They Which do? Both of the, those are usually, you know, interchangeable. Interchangeable, yeah. No, that's they, <laughs> they do have a former New York Jet named Frankie Love You. Oh, oh yeah, Frankie Lou Yeah. Uh Lou. I, I like Love well, I You. Mean, yeah, we can <laughs> yeah. make it we can make it yeah. what we want. We can, yeah, we can do whatever we want. Yeah. We can do whatever we want to be <laughs> <We can do. laughs> He doesn't listen. We can say his name is Frankie Loser Balls. <laughs> he just like sends us an email or a tweet. He's just like I just <laughs> hey, really I, don't I, appreciate I, that. Yeah, could you like stop? <laughs> I think it was unnecessary. Yeah. Uh they also yeah, have I'm Xavier like... Woods at corner and they have JC Horn. They actually I think their defense is pretty decent. Yeah. So yeah. There is an intense, like, hole burning in my pocket because I know we're getting close to the best part of the podcast. Well, I think you're right because it is time for the best part of the podcast. It's time for the Pick'em! Pick'em! Pick'em's As the reigning Pick'em's champion. God damn it, he's just waiting (laughs) Uh, for that! I got I to defend it. my title. Yep. So much worse than even the fantasy football champion. <laughs> it really is, yeah. Uh, big thanks uh, to our assistant coach of the week, Broski Bakes, and his adorable picture of a puppy that he included with his picks this week. A special thanks mm. for that. So I have to yes. scroll up from the UFO. <laughs> uh, <laughs> have to scroll past the UFO. The UFO, the horrible yeah, mini tacos. <laughs> The, yeah. We had an intense pregame conversation. Yeah. We were talking about Jack in the Box. Uh, Apollo <laughs> eats these. Uh, the mini tacos, know. man, they're good. Was, yeah, no, right? he didn't want to call them mini tacos, though, yeah. because that's not what they are. That's not no, what they look they're, like. It's, it's hard little, to call them they They're little weird chips filled with goo, all right? <laughs> that's all they yeah. are, but they taste good. Yeah, also, look up uh, the, the, the mini tacos from Jack in the Box. Sorry, go on. Broski, yeah. who's the assistant coach of the week, is also in our fantasy football uh, league. Oh, oh yeah. another well, new people. I, mean, I, mean, I will Patreon page. beat your yeah. ass, Broski. <laughs> All right, very. Uh, Pickums time, everybody. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Um, well, I'm gonna immediately be sad and make myself sad because I'm gonna pick the Chiefs uh, over the Lions. Fantastic! Oh, yeah. I will be picking yeah. the Detroit. Yes, Lions. I'm glad wow. somebody did it. Hell I wanted yeah. someone wow. to do it. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I mean, hey, be... no Travis Kelsey. Honestly, yeah. like it's not a bad pick. It's I would have done it even with Travis Kelsey. 
<laughs> Damn. Well, uh, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Yeah, I'm also going to go with the Chiefs. Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, fuck. I'm switching to the Lions. I didn't like wow. the way you guys said that. Wow. Wow. No, 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 no. wow. Do you Let's mean go. like the abject lack of faith? <laughs> well, it's more that like the more I thought about it, I'm like, okay, they lost Juju. And now Travis Kelsey might not play. I will say I'm not gonna do the conditional pick thing because that was apparently pissing people off. But I'm yeah, not it. it's satisfying yeah. alliteration. If Travis Kelsey plays, I would pick the Chiefs. So if he ends up playing and I'm and, and then they win by like 30 points. I'm just going to say I'm going to I, I call it. That's what I would have thought would happen. All right. There All you right. go. But I'm All still right. going to pick the Lions. Broski has also selected the Chiefs being the the voice of reason to balance yes. this out in the positive. <laughs> sense. Yeah. 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 Uh, mm-hmm. Bengals Browns. That's Bengals. All well. Here's the thing. Yeah. Bengals lost to the Mitchell Trubisky led Steelers in week yeah. one. And Joe Burrow could still be injured. Like we didn't even yeah. talk about the fact that he got injured in the preseason and he just didn't do uh, anything, and they haven't really true. been yeah. like it wasn't a serious injury, but it's one of those where you're like, is this like, are you guys hiding something? You yeah. know, just, hey, he's continuing know. to take it day to day right now, which Uh-oh. means nothing at all. That's true. Yeah. It does, <laughs> we'll see, but I'm still taking the Bengals. Aren't, aren't still, we all taking it day to day right now, Joe? We Burrow? are all taking it day to day. We are. Good God. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna be honest. Here's the thing, though. I'm just thinking if this is like a 5D chess move kind of play. If he's still playing, you haven't gained any advantage. They, it's Joe Burrow. Like yeah. they, they, it's not like they're gonna play any different. Being yeah, like, not, not oh, we made for a, whoever the fuck yeah. their backup is. Yeah, we made a game plan for that <laughs> other guy. Uh, but now yeah. this far superior QB. And then I'll be honest, play. I think even with a backup, I think the Bengals could still beat the Browns. I hate the Browns. <laughs> I hate what they've done. I hope they lose. I, I agree. <laughs> they might be good this year, though. They might still be better, better though. but yeah. Uh, we still have to see Desha- Deshaun Watson actually play good football, which I have not seen yet. I don't think it's going to happen again. I, I hope not. He gets injured on play one. <laughs> oh, uh, We're allowed uh, to see. Well, we can, you can't say that on normal pop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope Deshaun yeah, Watson breaks, breaks his entire show. fucking leg. <laughs> I hope he breaks everything <laughs> that can be broken. Mm-hmm. Uh, Broski Bakes goes with the bangles. Bangles. Bang, nice. bang. bangles. I'll also take the bangles. Yeah, yeah, Texans, Ravens. Broski's going Ravens. I'm going to let you. I was letting you guys lock this. I was about to, but I have my <laughs> lock prepared for in the future. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I didn't I, think, I think I about avoid it. the lock yeah. here still. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this is This is the, the lock of the week, just if you want it. It's the freebie. Uh, yeah, it's probably true, but I will take the Ravens, and I'm not fully confident in them as a team. I'm taking That's the insane. Ravens. As you well. are all insane for not locking this. I'm not going to lock it. Away. It's lock week one. Uh, I want to do a sentimental lock as opposed to a I'm going to easy peasy win. Or do you want me to be, take the easy route? Uh, I mean, yeah. take, take your sentimental lock if you want. Okay, I will. Yeah. But I'm picking the Ravens. I'm picking they're the Ravens obviously too. going to win. And it's, I'm just, okay, yeah. like, whatever, guys. Yeah, Whoa. yeah whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jeez, guys, it's going to be nice. I'll take those Vikings, but they would be the ones to lose this game somehow. They would be. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> but I'm yeah, taking the Vikings, too. I'll take the Vikings, I guess. Yeah, Vikings. Broski also went Vikings. Yeah. Although, I mean, you know, Baker Mayfield, shake I, and bake, baby. Shake mm, and bake. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, week I'm one. Not, None of these Vikings. Okay. I'm I think that's the Vikings. Fine. Although I don't know why you're not lo- the fact that you're locking the Vikings over the Ravens is uh, truly ins- fucking insane to me. But I almost feel like sure. Bear is more of a Vikings fan than a Patriots fan at this point. I'm starting I think, to at become this point, a yeah. Like <laughs> I think he's a Vikings fan out of spite in only yeah. spite. possibly a yeah. spite a spitings fan. A spite, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> no, I mean I was I became a I it became essentially a Kirk Cousins fan out of spite because of this podcast. So <laughs> That's I get true. It. <laughs> I know in the back you had you guys are like, oh man, I hope the Texans win because Apollo's gonna have egg on his face and we get to make fun of him. I hate the Ravens, so it's a win-win <laughs> for me. Yeah. Like if they lose, I'll la- I'll be on your guys' side. You will laugh. I will. Um, Panthers, Falcons. This is uh, uh, what is all this bullshit Falcons hype? Give me the Panthers. Yeah, give me give Bryce me the Panthers. Young, Week Ooh. One rookie quarterback. Yeah. D- d- dicing up whatever the fuck people are confident about this team. Yeah, I'm going Panthers. Yeah. I'm also going to go Panthers. Yeah. No, I'm supposed to look cool. You know, you guys are all joining. Like, <laughs> it's week one. Fucking up his whole flow here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's week one. Uh, we don't have any like wacky stuff yet. Yeah, we're not I, ready for flow. 
Yeah. I kind of have these guys on an even field, to be honest, but I think I will go with Falcons here. Woo! That's Whoa. what the yeah. assistant coach picked. And that's when I saw that it did just tipped oh, me yeah. off to that Falcons ranking and the power rankings. And I just went, nah, man. I, oh, yeah. They're like 16th. Good yeah, look. no way. Get that. Yeah, wait. Get that. Really? That's so absurd. Cardinals, Commanders. Ooh. <laughs> it's I'm a man. pick against the cards, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I would go commanders. Like who? Who is even yeah, quarterback for the Cardinals? I forgot. Joshua already. You just Dobbs told me. or cartoon? <laughs> My God! Cartoon. Yeah, I'll be what, taking what the commanders. What is happening with Kyler? Where is Where is Kyler Murray? He right tore his ACL. ACL, man. Remember? Oh, that should yeah. take longer than a year. He's yeah. A yeah. Uh, oh no. Yeah, commanders. Commanders. Yeah, commanders. Yeah, yeah. Broski also going commanders. Clean sweep. Jaguars, Colts. The Jags better win. They I better mean, win. Is, it's your statement game. You won the division last year. You got to come in. You got to prove something. Yeah, prove you're better a, than this weak ass team. Got to yeah. come. Jaguars. Yeah, it's got to be Jags. Bro, yeah, Jags. Jags. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He did. Uh, 49ers Steelers. I am locking the Pittsburgh He's doing Steelers. It. There it is. Let's fucking He's go. It. There it is. He actually did it. That one does feel much better. You're right. I am yeah. locking them. They're gonna win. I've never been more confident. And you guys know me. I always, I'm never confident in this game. <laughs> He's never mm-hmm. confident. This they're gonna. They're not just gonna win. They're gonna win convincingly. Wow. And that's Damn. why I'm taking the 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering the relation in Pickham's records, that does make me, for some reason, <laughs> lean toward the Steelers. <laughs> <Yeah>. But. <laughs> I thought you just got sold on the Steelers team, uh, Crendor. I did, but not against the 49ers. Oh, the 49ers, Nick yes, Bosa fair. might not even play. Just saying. Yeah, Bro, but they like the Steelers. Nick, Nick Bosa's holding out. Yeah, they don't have the contract yet. He'll play. I think, they, I think they're going to does play. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to choose the, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wow. wow. You know... I'll, you know, I'll take the Niners, but I don't feel very confident in it, to be honest with you. All right, okay. You'll all see. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. But <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Uh, Titans Saints. Ooh. Mm. This is a 50 50. I actually yeah. have no idea. Yeah, that's tough. This Give might be the, the hardest one of the, the week to pick. Yeah, DeAndre the Hopkins here. Yeah, the Hopkins Titans could, could have a little edge, I think. Yeah. I Matt. think this. I, I've been hyping up the Saints, so I'm gonna take the Saints because I, I have to go with my gut, thinking that even though Derek Carr is not good, he was an upgrade from Andy Dalton. So I thought yeah. that Jameis Winston. Or well, he, he, he got, they, he got yeah, injured like right. six times. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. I. Oh, I. 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 I'm gonna take the Titans just because I like the Titans. That's fair. Yeah. And, Robert. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Pass. Pass? Uh, pass? <laughs> He's breaking open the whole you game. You can do that? It's <laughs> such a um, safe way to play. No, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I out today, yep. I'm going to go with the... Do you want Broski to help you? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I haven't looked at his pick yet. Let me. Where, where, you want Saints? That might help. Broski you want Saints? Saints? Okay. All right. That that, that was yeah. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'll go Titans. All right. Oh my God. Oh, give Great. me the one v three. Oh, there's no one v fours this year. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where where? Uh, Raiders Broncos. Hmm. Broncos, Broncos, right? Yeah, yeah, Broncos. Yeah, it's yeah. Gotta yeah. It's, it's got to be. It's got to be. I don't it's know why Broski's picking the Raiders. I looked. I'm. I'm. That don't. That don't make no sense. I mean, sense. it is you a know, rivalry Raiders game. Fan. It is a. It's good. It could be a Raiders fan. Could be a rivalry game. You ever know? But I just. But then again. <laughs> yeah. Well. I'm taking the Broncos. I'm taking the Broncos. The Broncos also hate the Raiders yeah. head coach too. That's true too. Yeah. Uh, it's Josh McDaniels. Uh, even Raiders fans hate the Raiders head coach. Yeah. yeah. Everyone in that a, building is going to hate Josh yeah. McDaniels. This will be a statement <laughs> game from the Broncos. I think like a, this is, this is new Broncos, Broncos at home as well. Yeah. So and yeah. they're at home. True. Mile high. My, go, mile yeah. high. just have a legitimate mile high too. expectations happening in Denver. <laughs> currently. 
<laughs> but they actually have like like compared to baseball where teams have obvious advantages in yeah. different stadiums <laughs> like mile high stadium it has like it affects how you breathe yeah in that stadium yeah you know? it does so yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go broncos broncos all right eagles patriots Got our that'll be the eagles That'll be the Eagles. Yeah, be the Eagles. to pick that was Broski's lock. Yes. By the way, yeah. I think it's a good lock. That's a good lock. Uh, I'm thinking about it myself. There's a part of me. <laughs> Dude, are you sure none of you guys want that Ravens? Can I like lock I two might. different games just to have Here, like an extra point? Like, if I could tell you my reasoning, I'm waiting until I get to Bills Jets and see how I feel. Oh, the sentimental lock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I now I gotta take the Eagles. I almost went Patriots. I was like, what are you out of your what's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know, but I did I stopped myself. Um That's important. That's growing. You're learning. I am learning. You have to remember <laughs> then, that the Eagles, you guys are like, oh, that's magic. The Eagles can't win. They actually somehow had a really good draft, even though they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. They basically just that. drafted all of George's like line, like yeah. essentially. Yeah, that's true. Uh Ram Seahawks. Uh, it's Geno season, right? Geno season, yeah. yeah. Geno, Geno season, season yeah. Seahawks. I agree. Very Seahawks. Geno season in Seattle. So, you know, Brisky agrees. Yeah. Uh, good. Seahawks all around. Dolphins, Chargers. Ooh. Wow, it's two teams that should <laughs> yep. be good but might not be because. Yeah. Yeah. You know, give me the Dolphins. Uh, I'm gonna go Chargers. Wow. Yeah. I th- I feel like. I, you know, I don't have the stats in front of me, but I feel like the Chargers have burned me historically. So <laughs> I'm going to go Who with the Dolphins. They burned? That's a good point. They are also electricity, symbolically speaking. I'll take the Chargers. <laughs> mm, and the assistant right, two coach for two. takes the Dolphins. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Uh, then we have the Packers Bears. I hey. will be locking <laughs> the wow. Green Bay Packers. Oh shit! Are I we all just gonna well. lock our own teams? Yes. <laughs> is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> this is the this is the most confident I'll be. Well, I don't know if they look really good. I'll be even more confident. But I I want to beat the Bears, and so I'm locking it just out of the sentimental value. I hate to do this to you. But I'll it's be fun. taking the Chicago Bears. It's fine. Oh, Go ahead and do it. Oh, baby. It's all right. But I am, you know, like, I, I just, you know, you know, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think we know. Okay. I'm glad you know. I want to say uh, Google NFL schedule is incorrect. The Bears are still a C here. I am missing my bear <laughs> head. Yeah, this is this is a problem. <laughs> Pixel didn't even get the update. He's got it as wow. a C on the assistant coach yeah, thing. Son yeah. Of a bitch. <laughs> we'll get it fixed. Don't worry. We'll get it, we'll get it straightened out. You can put your weapons uh, away, Rob. Damn right. <laughs> that goddamn bear head. It's yelling. Uh, I will take the. Hey, you know what? I'll take the Packers. Woo. I don't know. There you go. Well, yeah, I will. Nice. Uh, go Bears. Okay. Well, oh. that's fair enough. He's a bear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cowboys, Giants. Cowboys. New York football Giants, baby. It's the ball. Annoying thing about Dallas is they do just win in the regular season for no reason. Even though once they get to the playoffs, they look like the worst team to touch the field. So I will be taking the Dallas Cowboys here. And when they're 2 0, they'll be back in the top five of the power rankings. Yeah. They, oh, oh, wait a they, second. If they win this game, they're going to be like number two. Like it's just... up immediately. Hold, hold, hold on a second. I've just fucking realized Sunday night is Cowboys Giants. Giants are at home. And then Monday night is Jets Bills. So we just get the fucked up field. Yeah, you get the sloppy second of the field. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's got to yeah. be. Isn't that like potentially dangerous? Oh, yeah, of course it is. Probably. I told you, Rob, something <laughs> terrible is going God to happen. God damn it. Oh, that's <laughs> God damn it. Don't do this to me, football gods. Don't do this. <laughs> Fuck. I feel like you just willed it into existence. I know, and I'm mad about it, to be yeah. honest. It's yeah. unfortunate. I'm taking the Cowboys. Yeah, same. Uh, also, Broski selected the Cowboys. Yep. And... Oh, oh, so I have a 1v4? 
I believe you, you do. do. <laughs> oh. And now Bills, Jets. I'm feeling Let's frisky. Start with lock start with the Jets. Oh, oh, there you go. The I like Jets. that. I locked it. <laughs> Sorry, That's a, good lock. That's a yeah, strong yeah. lock. Mm -hmm. I will be picking the Bills, though. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Give me the New York Super Jets. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Important uh -huh. to note, Josh Allen's favorite player, Aaron Rodgers. Well, that means he's going to win. He's playing against, so I'm going Bills. Yeah, he's got to impress him, dude. Yeah, I'm going Bills or here. Or he will I'm be also... too nervous to perform. <laughs> I'm mainly going Bills also because I watched Aaron Rodgers against the Bills and he didn't do that great. Although he does have a better offensive weaponry around him, but a worse yeah. offensive line. So I'm kind of yeah. like, ah, I just I, I trust the Bills more, I think, here. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Our assistant coach has also selected the Bills. Thanks to Broski for making the picks this week. If you'd like yeah. a chance to be selected for an assistant coach of the week picks, you can use the Patreon page that is in the link in the description and you can click that and you can become a, an assistant coach at the $5 tier and join the discord and mm -hmm. opt in. And then you can be chosen. You mm -hmm. can and also potentially get into fantasy football too. Right? Correct. Like is, there's some spots left. Uh, they are now all filled. So oh. no. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, never mind here though, <laughs> but all the assistant coaches were asked. And then I randomly chose through Randy, uh, for did you response. say Randy? I did say Randy because it's Randy, Randy, Randy time. Randy. Oh, He's here. Here we Randy. go. First Randy. First How's Randy. It been a while, buddy. How you been? I hope you guys have had a wonderful year. <laughs> what? <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> like Louis Armstrong. That is yeah, Louis okay. Armstrong and John C. Riley mixed together. <laughs> what exactly, a right. World. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Exactly uh, right. Randy has selected. The Detroit That's Lions. That's right, I did. <laughs> Sorry, that was more yelling. <laughs> it's more, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Detroit Lions. Uh, Bengals. Uh huh. Uh, uh -huh. Texans. Yeah, wow. yeah, Randy. Yeah, Randy. There's our Randy. Oh, Buccaneers. <laughs> Even Randy wants oh, you to take on your face. Oh, man. He's gone, Buccaneers. Oh, boy. Falcons. Oh, Commanders. Randy. Okay. okay. Right. Colts. No. Wow, Randy. 49ers. Boo. <laughs> Saints. Mm -hmm. Raiders. Yeah, no. Randy. Patriots. He's going, he's going Randy. Crazy. Randy. Randy. He's going crazy Rams. Randy. <laughs> Ramsey. Ramsey. <laughs> Ramsey. Ramsey. Oh, I get it. Chargers. That's his evil brother. He's got a mustache. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what does he sound like? Uh, Packers. Hello, I am Ramsey. <laughs> Chargers. And Packers. I hate football. I prefer I soccer. Ramsey. Cowboys. <laughs> And Jets. That's the most right. evil way anyone's ever said soccer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And Randy's lock is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. He's locking the Rams. Oh, wow. yes. Rams. That is a, Excellent. It is a Rams lock right there. He's been everybody. influenced by his evil brother. There's a there's gonna be a B plot to this whole season. We'll we'll get into it as well. <laughs> yeah, haven't you watching the Premier League before you know it? <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that is this week in football week one. Oh, We're gonna see baby. football again. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Football, 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 as well as Thursday and Monday. Uh, should be fun. Thanks for listening, watching, and we'll see you next time. Also, here's all the Patreon people on the screen. You can see all the Patreon people real quick. There, there they are. Look at all the patrons. Patreon people go to Patreon. There they are. Everybody's Patreon. Patreon.